Howdy, y'all. Welcome. This is Deadlands Bullet Drive. Let me try that again. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up my Bullet accent. Drive. <laughs> And so it begins. So it begins. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, how do? You... Uh, oh, so let, let let's do this the right way, y'all. Hold on. Oh, I should probably put the arms on my my chair down. How do y'all welcome to Bloodland? To Bloodlands? The Bloodlands. <laughs> I swear oh, we didn't Danny. do drink. I swear we didn't drink before this. Oh, but I'm gonna drink after this. Yeah, I'm so. about to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to uh, Deadlands Blood Drive. My name's Kelly. I'm going to be the marshal of this. Uh, my root and tune pronouns are he and him, and I'm very happy to be here today. Be <laughs> <laughs> because today we are doing root toot. <laughs> they're, they're my root and tune. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> Uh, Kelly drunk on Cowboys. So, so howdy y'all. Uh, very happy to be here today because today we are going to be doing all manner uh hooting and hollering and all of those uh, cowboy things. Uh, this is uh, going to be Deadlands Blood Drive, uh, also known personally as Project True Crit, um, which because uh, I had to. Um, yeah. yeah. All right, so folks, this is uh, this is Deadlands, which is a. I'm gonna switch back to to my to my northerner voice. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to Dork Tales. Uh, Deadlands is a game that is set in the Wild West, known as the Weird West, in this because a magic rock known as Ghost Rock was found that basically uh, allows ghosts to appear and stuff like that. Basically, uh, it's a horror movie version of the Old West, which is what we're here for here on Dork Tales. If this is your first time joining us, be sure to check us out on all of our social media, which will be scrolling around. It's also down there, um, and check us out on YouTube. Give us a sub over there because then you can watch all this back content uh but this is going to be a fantastic episode because we're going to be introducing these characters getting a sense of who they are and where they come from and also enjoying this module blood drive uh, which is brand new uh it's a repurposed old one actually from pinnacle and uh, i'm very excited to do this because like reading through this this is a hell of an adventure it's gonna be a lot of fun and i'll just cut Whoop. there we go all right so folks uh y'all ready to uh do some introductions and uh have some fun. All right. Uh, so, chat, Sounds wonderful good. to see you here today. Hope you enjoy the the, the whatever this is. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pass it over to my ombre on the left here, uh, Trenton Skinner, played by Michael. Howdy, y'all. My name's Trenton Skinner. Say, I'm being played by uh, this fella over here, uh, Michael. He's, uh, he's a graphic designer who, in his spare time, goes out and hoots and nannies and shoots and gets snakes in his boots i guess there's so, snake in uh, your boot yeah so it's me michael and i'm going with he him and i'm so excited to be playing this game there's like so much stuff in this that i'm just like Ooh. so be... yeah I'll, I'll go back to being cool now all right <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be freaking great uh all right let's pass it over to krista in the corner Hi guys, I'm Krista. Uh, I play uh, Ida Driscoll uh, in this amazing game of Deadlands. I'm also very, very excited for it, and uh, I'm so glad that we're already so far off the rails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's pass it down to Millie. Oh hi! That didn't go in order. I was unprepared. I thought I, I'm, I'm going in. A, I'm going in a loop. Comments afterwards. I dodged. Wow, a loop. <laughs> we're, we're like we're like revolver rounds now. We're spinning. It's very, oh, just very wait. fancy. Well, so I, hi, I I, I, I'm Millie. Um, I, I'm a giant dweeb. I am a Twitch streamer who is a VTuber violating my sacred oath. I'm over at twitchtv slash bunnyhearted. You can see me in chat where I'm apparently a mod, which means I have unlimited power and I will doom you all. Uh, in this game, I'm playing Frida Heckman, who is a wonderfully stable genius who's essentially Miss Frizzle by Jules Verne uh, and is a, a little bit Prussian, so I may be talking with a slightly different accent at some point. You don't point have there. to hurry. We shall see. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice. It's the all best right. description of a character of all time. I, I love yeah, it so I, I, much. <laughs> Krista's face when you said that was just hilarious. so good. It, it's true. Good I just love. thought of that today. I'm like, that it's... is that is specifically what I have made is Jules Verne and Miss Frizzle. Hop on the magic school bus while I discover what a cow is. And right now it's on. Let's go. What is a cow? A miserable pile of it's... secrets. <laughs> I'm not the only snorter on this one. Yes. Yes. No, we're, we're all snorting before this game and during. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then finally, uh, James. 
Hello with your brand there. new camera and layout, good for you, buddy. I you know, look good. I can actually... Thank you. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm James. Uh, I you can see me. Uh, I, I use he him pronouns, I should say, and yeah, you'll see me around here doing some role playing. I do and do some stuff on some other channels, and I also do some of the uh, art here for uh, Dork Tales for their um, uh, for their battle maps and stuff like that. Yeah, you do, man. They're uh, really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, anyway, today I am going to be playing uh, Thomas Cutlet, the darn huckster, uh, who's going to be uh, the gambler from uh, up from the north uh, northeast, who's uh, come out west to, well, experience some things. It's going to be a fun time. It's not uh, that kind of game. That's pretty much it. Oh my. Oh, maybe it is. Not yet. <laughs> I did put a warning. I for I forgot to take the 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 adult situations line out of it because. Anyway. Um, all right, folks, a couple new things that you need to be aware of right here. So uh, in Deadlands, we are using the Savage Worlds engine, which is this lovely book right here that I've got tabbed to hell. Uh, it's our first time playing it. So if we get a couple of the rules wrong, feel free to let us know in the comments or, uh, or in the YouTube comments uh, because we're still learning. And this is also true if Pinnacle actually is watching this as well. Good, good game, guys. You did a good job. Um, and uh, yeah, so this game uses uh, dice types as your traits. So like a normal game would have like, oh, I don't know, in D&D you'd have like a strength of 16. In this you would have a D12, which means that's the type of dice you're going to roll. Now to give you all a quick run through, what you're trying to do is always meet a difficulty of four. Okay, you're always trying to get at least a four. There might be penalties, there might be bonuses. For example, you're trying to, uh, to hunt a fox through the moors of England in the middle of a rainstorm, be a minus two, right? Uh, however, trying to do it inside of like a McDonald's play pit, minus six, um, you know, things like that. But mostly it's minus one, minus two, plus one, plus two. Uh, you roll your skill uh, and you always roll a six sided dice because y'all are what's called a wild card, meaning that you're, you're player characters, you're people with agency. Uh, so you roll a D6 as well as whatever you would normally roll. You take the best result. Okay. If you get snake eyes on those two dice, you botch. If you get the high number, it re-rolls like, uh, like exploding dice in World of Darkness or Chronicles of Darkness. Uh, there's no limit to the number of times something can explode, uh, as far as I can tell, at least. And uh, yeah, it, it honestly seems pretty easy. Now, what you can also do is uh, when we do we do opposed rolls in combat, we're going to have to muddle through that because we haven't done a test of that. This is going to be part of that, so hope you enjoy that. It'll be fun at the very least. And uh, what you do is... Um, when we go into initiative phases, I have sent you all a link to a random playing card generator. Uh, so you'll just do that, and if for some reason you draw the same card, we'll just draw again between you two, and that'll be your initiative phase, okay? Uh, then you have something on your sheet called bennies. Now, bennies are benefits that you can apply to uh, various things. So, for example, you can use them to reroll a trait. You can recover from being shaken. You can use it to prevent wounds. You can draw new action cards if your initiative is too low. You can reroll damage. You can regain power points if you're a character that has those. Uh, or you can influence the story. And this is one I really want to put out there. Um, this is one that is up to the game master, but I trust you all as players. So if you want to spend a Benny to find an additional clue, to kind of force a, a plot element if you're stuck, I'm all about it, okay? So, uh, normally what we do in our games is we have a little bonus called determination in our D&D games at the very least. And that's a little token you normally can see up in the, the corner up here. Uh, and when it's on, uh, that means the player can add their proficiency bonus again. Now this time we're gonna use them for bennies. Uh, but if you didn't notice, uh, we got something weird up in the corner here today. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna show you what it is because the best part about this is that y'all get bennies. Each one of you is gonna start with three, but I normally start with four. However, thanks to, yee, thanks to, uh, to Mike taking a bonus, I get five of these that I can spend against you. And we got them up here now. So there'll be a max of six that any player can have at one time. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and uh, as we go through, uh, Trenton, you get, do you get three of them? I get three. All right, let's load up. Yeah. There we go. All right, I had to load up. James, load up. All right. There Millie, load up. All right. Uh, those are going to be good to go. And I really want to thank Krista and Bryn. Thank you so much for this. So Krista and Bryn actually uh, worked together to come up with a remote module because uh, managing determination has always been a problem for me because it means I've got 
about four different icons to five different icons that I have to watch at a, at once. With this, I was going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, thirty-six plus one, there's a forty. No, only th only thirty-five different different tokens. If you count the zero token, but to hot swap uh, in and out. Yeah, y'all figured out a way to make Michael's great idea for how to do this work <laughs> and how to do it remotely, so you all can manage your own crap. And there's nothing I like better than when a player handles their own crap. <laughs> it is. We try. We try. It is my favorite. It is a glorious thing. <laughs> all right. Does anybody have any questions about the game so far? How do you play? Well. <laughs> yeah. What What is a rule? What are our dice? Uh, what are dice? Mm. Dice make the rules and uh, rules. Well, that answers both questions then. Are meant to be broken. Right. Yes. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Uh, well, how, right you how do you play the game? Actually, I do have one question okay. um, regarding the deck. Um, mm. Are we all pulling from our own decks? Yeah, go. I'll, I trust okay. you to pull your own card and tell me the truth. So, I, I just wasn't sure if it was supposed to be we are all pulling from the same deck. I don't think it allows that okay. option. Unfortunately. No, I don't think this website does, but I wasn't sure if that was... If you can find one that allows us to all use the same one, go ahead. I know Roll20 kind of does. Yeah. But I, think I we all, just, all we have to do is make sure that they don't match. So as yeah. we call them out, then no, we'll know. You. And we'll just make sure, oh, you got the King of Hearts or something like that, and we both have it. One of us just takes another one. That's it. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's it's mostly just for initiative, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. if we tie, we tie. You tie when you roll anyway, so cool. Wonderful. Will there be a giant mechanical spider? Perhaps. I Let's very much hope so. Hope so. God, I love that movie. I if like that song. There bad. is not it a so giant bad. mechanical spider. I will build a giant mechanical spider. Wicka Wild yes. Wild. Wicka Wild Wild. Yes. Wicka Wild Wild West. Jim West. Desperado. Rough riding. No, you don't want nada. <laughs> None of this six gun and this brother running this buffalo soldier. Look, it's like I told you. <laughs> Any damsel that in this dress be out of that dress when she meet Jim West. Rough neck, so go check. So I'll stop. I'll no, stop. whole thing. Let's fucking oh go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so funny. This has been pride, seared into Kelly's you. memory. So yes. Your pride, don't let your uh don't let your don't let your oh god, what is it? Don't let your lip don't let your lip react, y'all want to see my hand where my hip be at with Automus from the start of this playing the game. Jim's West, run the West, so remember the name. No. Who you gonna call? Not the. No, who you gonna call? D -double -A. If you wanna ride. Should we just do like backup dancing? Yeah, that's yeah, basically we'll what just... you do, right? I don't own the rights. Okay, Benny Keys is right. I don't own the rights. All right. So, folks, uh, I look exactly like Will Smith. I don't know if anyone told me this. Just but, uh, absolutely mistaken before him. I know, it's true. Seth Rogen, no. Will Smith, yes. Um, okay. I'm not gonna tell that story again. Not the, I don't have a Will Smith story. Oh, no. We need a Will Smith, Will Smith story. I'm not fresh enough, um, but let's go to Bel Air. Uh, actually, all right, so folks, we are going to start the game right now. Thank you very much for watching these shenanigans. I'm going to uh, make a note to put a cut in on the YouTube. <laughs> yes, thank you for putting up with us. <laughs> it's it, it's love. It's it's love that that, mm -hmm. that, 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 that filled, killed the beast. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it is love. Beauty that killed the beast. Okay. All right, folks. We are going to go ahead and start right now. And there's no better way to start a story uh, than right in the middle of it. A gunshot ripples through the air above your head. Around you, you can hear the sound of, <laughs> of angry horses, neighing, whinnying nearby. From where you are, near a pair of rocks, you can see. Sorry, I'm just turning the music down. There we go. All right. Around the corner, you can see that there is a pair of young men that can't be more than 17, 18 years old. Horse rustlers. A pair that you know as Herbert and Elmer McCormick. They have uh, stolen a couple of horses that were bound for a small town called Sutter's Flats. You were hired? Not much. Five bucks each to go and retrieve these horses. Three of them. Mustangs, breeding stock. And uh, we are in the middle of you trying to pitch them down. Now you are in about five miles from the Mexican border right now. About 80 miles from San Antonio, which is where you originally rode out of. 
and got this job. And as you are here, uh, looking around, you can see that there are a number of crags and, uh, and cacti hanging around this very flat terrain. Y'all have hunkered down behind a set of rocks over in the corner, and, well, the McCormicks are doing their best to make their way toward the border. But you've got them kind of in a U-shape. What I need you to do right now is we're going to draw cards and see who goes first. Now, it's the two McCormicks, and you've heard rumor that they might have a third that they're meeting up with for a trade-off here. Some um, some Mexican fella named uh, Cortez. But you ain't seen hide nor hair of him. All right, so let's draw some cards. Jack of uh, Diamonds. Space. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick reference to see what the cards mean because suits change things. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through top of initiative order according to this action cards. All right, uh, mute if you type. Cool. Yep, my apologies. That's okay. Takes a while to get used to it. All right, all right, who got spades? I got spades. All right, what'd you get? Eight of spades. Okay, then it is, okay. So Millie, Elmer, uh, then can I get who got? Hearts. Nah, be me. What'd you get? And me. Uh, I got a jack. I got a three. Oh, you put them all in the chat like wonderful people. Yep. All right, so three this hearts. This ain't our first rodeo. Okay, so that means... Just, uh... All right, so all of you all have bennies. What you can do is if you choose to, you can spend them to learn some more information about what's going on as well. Ask me some questions about stuff that you did in the past. I will also allow some Ocean's Eleven style stuff where you are like, well, of course I packed this holdout gun, you know? <laughs> some good yeah. flashbacks. Exactly, we'll do some flashback scenes. I like it. All right, so uh, directly ahead of you, Lord Kilmore's gonna judge our accents. I'm from the South, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he, he's only going to judge my accent. Oh yeah, judge specifically. <laughs> yeah. All right. Directly ahead of you, see this this whole uh, hubbubaloo happening. Uh, so they are kind of like they have no cover aside for some cacti nearby. And guess what? It is going to be Frida. Your turn there. So as you are hunkered down behind, well, tell me what you're doing. Describe yourself in the middle of this pitched battle. Uh, a gun goes off in the distance, spooking one of the horses. The bullet ricochets off of a rock nearby. What are you? What do you look like? What are you doing? Should we go in some kind of an order? Well, you're first. It's you. You're first. I said, I said you. So oh, Frida. I didn't even. I didn't even hear that part. Sweet. I didn't I'll say you're it. free to go. I said you're free uh, to heck. Uh, that checks out. That checks out. I think Frida is immediately jumping onto the ground and covering her head because her bullet is flying around, and she is yelling out, "Why did I agree to come on Cease Pussy?" <laughs> All right. Give yourself another Benny. <laughs> for the good. for the best opening line in history. Oh. This this film the, the film of this game starts with that line and that is perfection. <laughs> okay, so it is your turn. So describe yourself. Nanny. Uh Um Frida Frida really does look like a, a Jules Vernian um Miss Frizzle. She she's wearing this kind of shirt. She's probably got a pith helmet on. Uh, and a, a little overcoat. She does have a rifle across her back. I think she's scrambling for it right now and doesn't really look the most confident with, with using it in a fight. Uh, but she is going to aim it and sort of keep an eye out and see what people are up to. She's not going to shoot unless she feels she really has to. All right. So you are at medium range from these people. Uh, so w you can do anything as an action, including socials. So you could try to convince them to like give up. You could try to taunt them into doing something stupid. You could also just pew pew. Um, or you just want to hold. I think she wants to hold. Okay. All right, I'll put that down as a held action. All right. As soon as you as you say that and hold your action, uh, Elmer, the uh, the older of the two and by far the softer of the two, uh, plunging out from between the buttons of his vest, is gonna shout, "Y'all just need to let us go. You ain't want us. You ain't worth these horses." I, I, I don't want to shoot y'all, but I will. And he waves around an old rusty colt. Um, and is going to hold his action, actually. Uh, but Ida might not. Ida, it's your turn. What do you do? 
No, oh, you're probably not gonna. Yeah, I, I just got it. Okay, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, got it. Good. Uh, Ida. Uh, so, how far away are these guys? Uh, they are about. Let's see. Uh, they are at. So they're medium range from you, but I'm gonna say that they're about ten yards from you. So that'll be medium range, probably. Okay. Um. And we see them, but not this other guy. They're supposed to be meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to shoot. We're, what? What? We're just supposed to get the horses back, right? That's just our supposed job to get the horses. Yeah, they're not wanted dead or alive. They're. Um, uh, that's not the bounty that y'all have on them. Okay, it's just the horses we want. They're whatever. I mean, you might get a bonus if you bring them back dead. You <clears> never know. Yeah, fair. Um, I'm gonna shoot. Uh, so Ida is sort of. Uh, average height, uh, very like sun tanned, like very uh, everything is dried out and ha- spends way too much time in the sun without sunscreen, as you do when you're a cowboy in this time. Um, and uh, she's got a pistol on, or a Colt peacekeeper on her hip and uh, a rifle in her hands. Uh, she's gonna duck up around the rock we're at and um, shoot at their feet okay so i don't want to hit him but i want to hit it just enough to like spook him all right that sounds good so uh why don't you go ahead and give me hmm shooting give me shooting uh but what's your what's your um what is intimidation under uh spirit i also have intimidation What's your intimidation? I'll give you. I'll, I'll let you. My shooting's sh- better than my intimidation. I'll y- let you do shooting, or I'll give you intimidation with a plus one. Mm, uh, my shooting's tw- a d12. My intimidation's right. only a d8. I'll, I'll let you intimidate with a gun. Okay. Now, do I? I just use shooting, right? I don't use agility you don't, plus. You don't okay. use agility. But I roll that... a d6. Yeah. And take the better. See, and that's the only part of the uh, the thing that confused me is why your stat is a, a dice as well, because no matter what you roll a d4, if you don't have a skill. A D4 or a D6? If you don't have a skill, you roll a D4. Got it. <laughs> I rolled a two on the D12, but I rolled a six on the D6, which explodes, right? It explodes. That's four, so that's a 10. All right, so what he's gonna do is I'm gonna roll his spirit to see if he gets spooked, I'm pretty sure is the way that works. That sounds right. Mm. And for every group of four, that's considered a raise, so you have one raise. I have one raise? Go no, that. Ida has one raise. One raise? Oh, that's right. So uh, basically it functions as every four is like successes, or for those of you who played in any of, uh, all of you played in my LARP, where we used threes as raises, basically. Oh, beat by four, a raise, okay. All right, so I'm off to a great start. Uh, You fire into the ground, and he is going to scream and fall off of his horse. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) And hit the ground hard. Elmer, there's more of them than us. We can't do anything. We got to get out of here. Listen right. to your brother, Elmer. All right. Uh, and uh, Elmer, the uh, the scrawnier of the two, uh, is going to look down. You're pathetic. Just four of them. And I got six bullets. Uh, he's going to raise up, and he's going to fire. All right, are any of you standing out of cover at all? I didn't lower back <laughs> down, so okay. I'm so probably he's going to try to he's going to try to shoot you actually. Okay. Uh, so let us figure this out. So ranged attacks. Uh, you are at short range, medium range from him. So that's going to be a minus two, I believe. Yeah. And let's just do a quick check. So he has a shooting of that. And I got, holy crap. Okay. Oh oh no. Okay, so I got, I shot you with two raises. So let me see how this works. So I shot you. So bang, his gun goes off, ripping through the air. The bullet slides up to you. And let's take a look at this. So uh, if you got a raise, so quick note, if you ever get a raise on a roll, you Mm -hmm. always get a plus D6. To the damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty handy. So uh, he has a pretty piddly gun. Uh, so I think he only has two d6, but a three d6. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, okay. Applying damage. What is your toughness? 
my toughness is on the window I just closed. Um, my toughness is four. Four, okay. So, let's apply some damage. Uh, okay, so if the damage roll is less than your toughness, you're just beaten up, no game effect. The damage is equal to or greater, you're shaken. Each raise on the damage roll also inflicts a wound. So... 2d6 damage. So how do you do a raise on a... I guess it's every four on the damage, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so he's got to keep remembering yeah. force. Okay, so you were going to suffer a wound. Okay. You're shaken. You've suffered a wound. So you are nicked, bruised, or otherwise rattled. You can only take free actions such as moving or running. At the start of your turn, uh, you must you can attempt to recover from this because basically you're going to get like shot right in the side of the arm. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to watch blood start to dribble down your white shirt. And uh, I am going to roll 2d6 for you on this. Let's see. Yeah. So that is going to be... Uh, your left arm is going to be wounded. Luckily, that's not your shooting arm. Uh, you may not use your left arm uh, until it is repaired. Unless your character's a lefty. I rolled for non-dominant, so that was good. Sure. Uh, unless you want to spend a Benny. Uh, so you can spend a Benny to have this not wound you. Oh, okay, sure, why not? Let's spend right, a Benny. All right, so, so, you got your first Benny spend, so... Uh, oh, down to two. And let me just check soak rules real quick, because that's something else. So soak. Mm. After rolling damage before applying wounds, character can spend a Benny to make a soak roll. That This is a vigor check with each success raising and raise, reducing the number of wounds. So make me a vigor roll. Vigor. Ooh, I don't have good vigor, guys. Uh, my vigor is a d4. Ooh. Do I, do I roll that? You always roll D the D6 as well, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it would be another D4, wouldn't it? Because I don't have... No, you always roll a D6 for, oh, on those for wild cards. Okay. Um, where are my D4s? There we go. Oh, a six on the D6. Okay. And another six. Holy crap. And a four. 16. Holy crap. All right, so you are not wounded or shaken. And uh, just so that we have it aware, so for those of you in Twitch who are buying Determination, uh, for now, Determination is going to be our Bennies. So if anybody who buys you Determination, character name, uh, so that would be uh, Bongmaster and Poppy have both bought uh, Frida oh, and Thomas you. one. So add a Benny to your sheet. Cool. Uh, all right. So uh, spending that Benny, the bullet is going to hit your arm and you're going to see a little bit of blood dribble down and it has grazed you pretty grievously. It might even scar. But it's it ain't nothing. You're not that even shaking anymore. Son of a bitch! I just washed this shirt. All right, so that was Herbert's action. Trenton, it is your turn now. So Trenton's sitting behind a rock, holding his Bowie knife up above his head, so he can look in the reflection. Okay. And uh, he's gonna yell out, "How about y'all just stop shooting and put your hands up, and we'll uh, we'll not bother hunting you down and shooting you like dogs." How's that? How's that sound? You make me a determination, or probably make me uh, an intimidation roll. Sure. And also, someone just bought you uh, another point of Benny. Yay. Y'all need to buy me Bennies too, y'all. I still got <laughs> one left. Well, I just rolled a four on both of my dice, so Ooh. I got a four. So it's a score. Oh, I got another one. Oh, did you re roll it as well? No, I just got four. Oh, so, wait, that wasn't your top that, dice. No, I got a four on my eight and a four <laughs> on my die six, so that's Ooh. just a four. So it's well, successful. The, you, oh, on the die eight. Okay, that, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. All right, so. Score four no matter which die you count. All right, that still works. So let me just make, uh, his brother's already spooked. Let me get him a roll. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I ain't afraid of you, old man. I ain't afraid of you. I'm put a bolt between your eyes. <laughs> old man. Um, I'm right over here. You, Come do it. As you say that, you're going to hear and a revolver is going to hit the ground between you and, and Frida as, uh, as Herbert hucks it over to you and just like jumps behind a cactus, his ass in the air like an ostrich. <laughs> good, good job, son. Talk some sense into your brother now. He ain't never had no sense. <laughs> <laughs> all right 
Uh, in the distance, anyone who is paying attention or looking back kind of to the uh, to the east of you, uh, pardon me, to the south of you, because uh, you are kind of facing to the west, uh, you are going to see a dust cloud erupting. Looks like someone's riding in pretty quick. Uh, yeah. All right. M Millie, it is Frida's turn. Frida, what are you doing? Well, I think Frida's going to say, oh, they saw she... They they shot the tassel lady and shoot the dude. Fuck this guy. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna spend a Benny right now to do something. Let me see what I can do to help to hurt you. So it's a. Uh, so if my shooting is a D8, and then I also roll a D6, right? That sounds good. And uh, and then if I hit the top number, it explodes. You hit the top number, it explodes. So I have a 12 on the D8. Okay. Holy crap, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that sounds fantastic. All right, so 12 on the D8, that means it's bad. Range attacks you're trying to hit. Okay, so base number is four. Uh, so you got two raises. Uh, I'll spend a Benny to just make that a little more difficult, so you only got one raise. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Because someone they bought me more points than I could actually put in my slots. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, uh, rate of fire is higher, recoil, so you can actually shoot multiple shots. Okay, so um, I need you to roll me your your dice, um, so your damage for the gun plus 1d6. Oh. On the table, preferably. Preferably. They went for a whole adventure. Two. So seven on the d8s. And the D6 is a 6. Is that 13 altogether, or is it the higher of the two? Uh, it is altogether. 13. 13? 13, uh, so that's three raises on 13. That's definitely higher than my Vigor. Uh, so that is going to be... Uh, all right. Uh, can you roll me 2D6, please? Uh, 11. Okay. Uh... All right, so he's riding on the side of the horse, uh, and you are going to... Okay, so 11. Uh, you are going to aim the shot and are going to punch directly through. Uh, the bullet is going to enter just above his kneecap, ride the bone up along, and you're going to see an explosion of blood and gore as it erupts out the side of his hip. Uh, he is going to scream as his leg turns into a wet noodle on the side of this horse. Um, and uh, good job, good job, good job. Uh, oh, Christ. <laughs> Shit, wow. nice shot, Frida. Okay, I'm gonna spend a Benny to have uh, Elmer go instead of his brother. And uh, he's gonna roar and turn, try to return fire uh, if he can survive, or if he can get his shaken condition gone. Let's take a look. So he needs... I'm going to re-roll that with a Benny. Yeah, there we go. I think you can also just spend a Benny just to... to, to Get used to, to ignore it? Yeah. To ignore it? I believe that's yeah. a side effect of a Benny. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Oh, yeah. It's right there. It's actually just on the next page. Okay. So, um, uh, he's going to raise his gun and try to shoot you in return. He's going to try to return volley. And actually, what he's going to do is he's going to fan the hammer. And he's just going to try to go... Ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam. Uh, so, let, just so we can get a look at how this works. So, he is damn near, damn near done. Uh, subtracts two from the attacker shooting rolls. Okay, he's already at a medium, so that's minus two, minus two, minus four. All right, we can do that. All right, first one, let's see. Okay, that's uh, definitely a miss. I'm going to spend a Benny to re-roll it. That is a miss. No, oh, that was worth it. Is there any limit to the number of bennies you can spend? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to spend another one to reroll that. I'm going to burn through them all. Okay. That's a two. Damn. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to burn myself completely out, actually. Which my, oh, bennies aren't, which my bennies aren't going down. One second. There we go. So apparently that thing that I turned on doesn't always like to play nice. So I just refreshed it, so it should be working now. 
All right, so uh, he fires just randomly, unloading the rest of his gun <laughs> into the rocks next to you. Doesn't manage to hit a one of you. In fact, the fact that he didn't, uh, one of the bullets is going to ricochet and is going to fire right past his brother's ass into the ground. And it is only by the grace of some divine marshal spending a Benny that that wasn't a critical failure. Uh, <laughs> all right, and uh, Ida, it's your turn. Yep. Sorry, I can't hear uh, you. Ida. Well, uh, oh, no, I know. I, I hadn't said anything yet. I was reacting to the bullet fight. Oh. Pew, um, pew, pew. <laughs> uh, she's going to pop back up, aim, and shoot at this asshole. All right. Uh, so, meanwhile, it just sounds like... Just so many gunshots going around. <laughs> oh, did Thomas not go? Uh, Thomas is... Oh, yeah, wait. I didn't write Thomas down. <gasps> Thomas. Go, Thomas, go. So, Thomas, is, guess what? It's surprisingly your turn right now. <laughs> so, Thomas, where, where are you during all this as, you're, as you watch this whole fiasco go? Okay, Thomas is probably off on a rock, just a little bit to the side of everybody else, grinning like a grinning like a school child. He's like my first goddamn gunfight, and uh, and he's gonna kind of <laughs> look over, and then as soon as he sees like I like fan the hammer, Thomas is gonna ah, and he's gonna go charging out. And I'm just gonna like close the range and just try to like blap him with the shotgun. <laughs> like, okay, uh, that's that is okay. Let's do it. Uh, you're gonna be <laughs> you at your oh, back here. No. Uh, you're gonna be at uh, at short range. Uh, yep, uh, which is good because I I'm terrible. I will pull both barrels. Okay. Why not? So that gives you minus two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or what's its rate no, of fire? It, Sorry, what's its rate of fire? Uh, so double barreled shotgun is special. It is. I basically just roll the damage once, but I get plus four on whatever I roll for damage. All right. Because you're just putting both barrels down the way. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Put it. All right, all right. This is okay. going good. I got one ace, so I've got a seven you and got a one, five. You got one ace? Yeah, I got one ace. What do you mean? So my d4 rolled into a three. Oh, okay. You mean I've one ace? Got, oh, yeah, I got one. So the d4 rolled, in, uh, rolled into a three, so I got a seven, and then I get two on top of that because uh, it's a shotgun. Okay, so you got two so raises. I got two raises. Okay. Well, balls. And that is... 3d, uh, 4d, 5d6 damage, I so think? So you only add, I believe, plus 1d6 for when you get a raise. You don't add one okay. per raise, I think. Okay. Uh, I will double check that really quick right now, though. Yeah. Because new new engine, thanks for being patient, folks. Cool. Uh, I get plus 4 on top of that, so. Yes, you do. Holy crap. Why do you, oh, because uh, A shotgun does 3d6 damage, base. Okay, so rate of fire, extreme long range damage. Honestly, stuff like this is great because people watching now will learn the rules. Yeah. We'll play some attacks. Just playing okay. along. If your hero gets a raise on his attack, regardless of how many raises, he adds plus 1d6 to the final total. Okay. So that means I'm going to do 4d6 damage Bonus total. dice can also ace. Now, what do they mean by ace again? They mean... Uh, ace is when you roll the max value. Oh, okay. Explode. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank exploding. you. Thank you. So I'm going to do 4d6 plus 4. Cool, 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 cool. And wait, uh, and sorry, the damage dice can't ace, right? Uh, it said bonus dice can. Does uh, that dam? Let me just check this real quick. Damage dice. Because I rolled. I six, 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 five. Oh, we on. found James's game. Uh oh. <laughs> we found Christine's game. <laughs> okay, so, uh,. All damage rolls can ace. If there is a, uh, it's, oh. its own line oh, item there. Let All us right. let never let us never let Christine play this game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. Fair enough. All right. So that is 12, 17, 18, 22, 24, 28 damage. Roll two d six <laughs> for me, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Holy this guy does not know how to shoot. He's just got a shotgun, and, and he was close by. That's uh, I'm sorry. What dice do you want? Two uh, d six. I want two d six. I want the total. Uh, seven. Seven. Yep, that's about where you would have ran up to. So that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, balls. Uh, so rushing forward, uh, you are just gonna just run up to him and just pull the trigger point blank, right? 
uh, as you as you do, you are gonna kind of come straight and level with him, and your um, your gun is gonna go off directly into his gut. Uh, I there's actually a subcategory to roll broken, battered, or busted, but I think you got all three. Uh, your gun is going to just explode. And the horses are going to panic, um, which is great because as you shoot this man, um, the horse is about to have a lot less of his rider. Uh, that is with that much damage, you are going to fire this across, uh, and the top half of him is going to slump to the ground, and the bottom half is going to ride off as the horse bolts. Thomas is going to like follow it as it rides off. <laughs> and then you sorry, did you get say my gun broke? No, the gun didn't break. No, no, no. This oh, is okay. to break the stunt, the gut. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, the horse is going to ride off with just a pair of legs on it. Uh, and, uh, oh, you know what? It's dead, Lance. How, how graphic are we going to be here? <laughs> could, could, could there be, like, a long strand in between? Uh, this is, the... is that how graphic we're <laughs> That was what I was asking. Yeah. yeah, so a wedding train is starting to drag the top body as it unspur, unfurls, uh, unspools like a, uh, like a spool of yarn. Just... And then you, you start to see tension build up in the intestines as... Or, pardon me, I actually have something for this. Oh, we don't need noises. I have, it was a whip sound effect. It's great. Oh, uh, so, oh. oh no. I thought you were going to make some spaghetti and throw it against the wall. <laughs> Why are mom and dad doing oh. macaroni? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, they... they Whoa, Whoa! Thank you so much. Whoa. Sorry, pausing real quick. Lord Kilmore, thank you so much for those subs, man. That was fantastic. Oh wow, Kilmore! <laughs> uh, Lord Lord Kilmore, praise Lord Kilmore uh, for uh, killing this yeah. guy. All right. Um, so uh, they are going to ride off into the distance. Or distance. Does anybody want to try to to rustle that horse? Uh, I, yeah. I. Yeah. So uh, let's it do was, this. Krista, it was your turn anyway. So if you want to okay. go after it, we both can. It'll probably uh, be better as a teamwork. Can I'll I go like, I'll go secure Herbert. Okay. okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, wonderful. So Elmer. I, I. Elmer. Should I be grabbing my own horse to go after this one? I think that you could try, pro probably try to do it by uh, by foot. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, would I roll riding or? Yeah, there's no real animal handling roll, is there? No, there is a riding. There is riding. The persuade. But... Because oh, I have I'll, intimidation. I I'll let you do riding. Okay, cool. Uh, awesome. That's a D8. Because you're just trying to like calm down. It's it's still got a rider on it. It's still got spurs. You know what? You're going to notice that the guy clamped down on his spurs when he died. So that's probably one way to... Oof. Yeah, now, there, I'm going to try two... to round. There are two ways you can do this from here. You could run up and try to just kind of despur it and calm the horse. Or you could shoot the guy's leg off from this distance. Oof. And the horse might eh. calm down himself. Don't shoot the horse. No, horse, horses don't calm themselves. That's horses true. will run off of cliffs before they calm down. So I will go after this thing. <laughs> uh, that's, a, ooh, that's a five. Okay. All right, so uh, rushing up, uh, you are going to be able to, to tame the horse down a bit. Um, it's actually, it wasn't terribly spooked. It was just pissed off. And yeah. uh, you are going to calm it down, uh, pulling it to a nice, slow canter. And then... It's going to and look at you kind of warily. Its entire back flank is covered in just black red blood. She'll uh, calm it for a little bit and then hop up on it and walk it back to the group if it allows. Okay. It doesn't buck her off. In the distance, you hear a horse ride up. All right. Uh, as the horse is riding up... Uh, so this actually should have been Thomas right here. So sorry I skipped you, Tom. Uh, so Thomas, you should you should have been right here. Uh, as you are turning around, you're covered with a bit of blood, just it's speckling on the side of your glasses and hair, and you hear a horse galloping up from the distance. <coughs> what do you do? Uh, Th Thomas would be kind of like look over there and just kind of he'll just kind of just kind of wave at him. <laughs> oh, no. All right. <laughs> So, uh, as that happens, so uh, this person actually is going last. So, Trenton, you are up as well. What do you yeah, do? I'm gonna I'm gonna use my rope and tie up Herbert from behind. Okay. And use it use it like a cattle lead and walk him over to the rest of the group, trying to calm him down. It's so like it's all it's all right. It's all right. We'll get Thomas to pick up the pieces so none of the buzzards eat it. It's fine. 
Uh, sorry, kid. I mean, <laughs> I had to, right? Right? Like right, <laughs> right in front of the poor boy. So it's okay, Herbert. We'll we'll get you a nice warm cell and some soup or something. You'll be fine. I promised that I'd look after him. He was my little brother. It wasn't his fault. He was touched. The devil touched him when he was a baby. I just tried to keep him safe. Oh, he's singing with the angels now. And so, the camera well, will pan over his shoulder to the corpse just to yeah. <laughs> It's all right. We'll bury him good. We'll bury him nice and deep for you. In the we'll, distance. We'll, ha we'll have a little uh, preacher come and say some words. The horse rides up from the south. And there on it, you will recognize... Um, well... They were meeting someone named Cortez. The person riding up is dressed in all black, vest, coat, breeches, boots, and a wide black sombrero laced with gold. Black gloves on top of their hands. As they ride up, they turn their horse to the side well, they have a gun. It's on their hip. Still holstered. They turn and look at you. And as they do, the sun is going to silhouette behind the sombrero, casting the face into shadow for a moment before revealing that it is a, uh, a rather striking woman. Her face painted like a sugar skull. I'm guessing the horses today she says to you in accented English sorry I didn't quite hear that I'm my apologies no horses today uh no no horses today hmm. I'll kind of ride up just behind Thomas with my shotgun across my lap not like aimed but just enough that it's not threatening but warning I have no qualm with you witch this one she says gesturing down to the corpse that's being reassembled and kind of like piled up did make me a promise though he said that he had horses for me. Obviously, these are your horses, or you're bringing them back to their people. But he, he made a solemn promise. Uh, May I? I'll, I'll look at Trenton, because Trenton kind of promised things to the brother. <laughs> and sort of nod at it. Well, it is difficult to make a promise when one is dead. Well, I don't know about y'all, but if you ask me, I say his promise has gone to the great beyond with him. Then I'll bring him back. What? I have my uses for the body. I have no need for trouble with you. <sighs> the man I got me. no allegiance, you? Hmm. Uh, what exactly are you going to do with it? All debts must be paid, senor. I, I get that, I get that, but I'm 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 truly curious how exactly you're gonna go about doing that. I'm going to put him to work. Mr. Oh. Catlett, I can almost guarantee you don't want to know. Uh I would we... like to second that motion. All, all, all right, all right. Uh <laughs> sorry, it's your uh, uh... It's your choice whether or not to acquiesce. But I promise, I'll remember that you did me this um, solid, as they say. Well, I don't know. Like this, this, this man here. Well, 
both halves of this man here were was a cat well, a horse rustler and he's probably got a price on his head that, that means that uh i don't know we bring that head back it's worth some money <coughs> so we give it up to you then that's definitely you owe us then i'll sweeten the deal and i'll tell you your destiny or at least where the iron has made its way she glances down to the empty holster on your hip. Trent's going to take his hat off. Ma'am, I think you just made yourself a bargain. Look for a man. Named Sutter. Beal Sutter. He does not have what you seek, but he does have the next leg of your adventure. If you follow his path, you will find fame, fortune, glory, and the missing piece of you. With each word, she looks at a different one of you, signaling what you're really looking for out of this. <laughs> all right, all right. And what, what, do we, what do we do with his brother? See a cow, finally. <laughs> His brother. I care not. Do we have a deal? Well, I guess we're taking the brother with us. Hmm. Oh, so. Ma'am, we got yeah. ourselves an accord. <laughs> Excellent. Puts her hand up for a moment, puts it down. Puts her hand up again. Val... One question. Would it be okay with you if I drew this? Points at her face and holds up a notebook. It's hmm. fantastic. If you're quick about it. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> notebook with a picture of cow, question mark. Random. And, uh, <laughs> as you quickly, is this a cow? It's like uh, a turkey. As you, uh, as you, it is a cow. Uh, as you quickly sketch her face, <laughs> she is going to wander. Uh, after as soon as you get that done, it takes you only like a minute or so. Um, she'll look down. All bargains must be honored. Don't forget this. It is very important, especially out in the weird lands. Where the Twilight Legion walks. Good luck. You're going to need it. And as she says that, the sun is going to kind of blind you for a moment. And you are going to feel just a wave of heat roll over you as if you leaned into a fire. And overhead, an eruption of crows is going to pick up. And when your eyesight clears... The corpse, everything but the blood trail, the woman and her horse, are gone. With not a single track behind them. <laughs> oh, that was something. Where did she go? Oh, how interesting. I think, I think Thomas Are is probably going to go look wounded? around a little bit, see if he can find her. <laughs> There's no trail anywhere. This is yeah, like a no, this like fantastic magic trick. It's going to be he's going to be making a little bit of a circle, like sight, like little circle around the area, just just grinning, like just grinning stupidly. Just, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? Where did she go? <laughs> I just just slouched in the saddle, just watching him, just. Anybody who wants to try to make a roll to figure out what the hell just happened can, or I think, or you can just ride it. Whatever works. Yeah. <laughs> this is I'll pretty regular, a... Frida. It happens. <laughs> I would make an occult roll. Yeah, you can. Do it. Awesome. Uh, so that'll be a D8. Okay. I done. D6. Mm. Very shots. Three and a four. Oh. A three and a four? Just a little bit. 
You can spend a Benny <laughs> um. to make this happen, James. <laughs> sure, I got plenty. Yeah, seriously, like spend, spend them like crazy. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Where you shot just a little bit. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, as you're looking around, you're going through some of the dust. You're going to see that Thomas is kind of scrounging around in the dust looking for tracks. You don't think he's going to find anything. But as he does, he comes to this little bump in the ground. And as he brushes some of the sand aside, you're going to find a, a slab of wood. A post. Buried there beneath the dust. Following it up toward its natural uh, its natural end, you're going to find that it's it's a tipped over sign. Pulling it up, you see that it has something on it that says South Kilmore Trail. With an arrow from where it was knocked over, pointing to the west toward Sutter Flats. And as you pull that up, glancing down, you realize that the wind and rough conditions have swept over this area and covered up much of what was here. But this close to the border, well, you find yourselves at something of a crossroads. The perfect place to make any agreement stick. <laughs> Quick out of character right. question. Yes, I get it. Um, where were we supposed to bring these horses back to? So they were bound for Sutter Flats. So you can okay. you can drop them off there. Wunderbar. Uh, they were bound for uh, Pettinger's <laughs> Supply. Pettinger's <laughs> Supply? Yep, yeah, it's a general store at Sutter, Sutter Flats. Um, they were bound for there just to basically kind of um, like bolster their stock. Um, yeah. They were supposed to be brought there just by like, by a, by a cattle drive that was coming through, but they were rustled. Yeah. About about a week ago, and you were on your way there anyway. Five bucks is five bucks. Yeah. yeah. All right. And with All right, that, Skinner, you're good to run this to me. Oh, definitely. All right, um, Miss Heckman, Mister uh, Catlett, uh, mount up and just follow along as best you can. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. We'll try. We'll try not to slow you down. Uh, it's much appreciated. Um, is, what was it? Herman? No promises. Was it? Elmer. Not Elmer. What was the other one? Uh, Herbert. That was Herbert. Herbert. Um, uh, she'll get him up on the horse with her so that he can't fuck off. My brother. Behind, as you all begin to take your own horses off into the distance leaving behind you a small wake of blood. And, uh, Thomas, did you prop the, the post back up or let it drop back into the dirt? Oh, he'd prop it back up. Okay. Propping it back up, it stands and casts a dark shadow to the north as the sun fades overhead. And as it does, one of those crows comes and lands on the side of it cause to the camera and i think that would be where the cold open for this episode ends <laughs> yes. uh as y'all are y'all are making your way toward deadlands death. deadlands blood drive coming to hbo this fall <laughs> dun, dun, dun. all right okay so we got through that that sounds pretty good how are, how are y'all feeling about this so far just quick check in i'm liking it good okay i'll keep Everyone's better so good you're all so awesome and we all take uh, one to no one you take ah. one to no one all right, let's begin the module. My sexual now. finger guns. <laughs> is that a thing? Legally required. Legally required. Oh yeah, it, it is. It guns. is. It is <laughs> double this is double why action. We both do this, and we, <laughs> then we're like, oh hey, interesting. Uh, so, uh, Food folks, nanny. Do you, does anybody want to take their break now, or do you want to save it for a little bit? Uh, this might be a good pausing yeah. spot. Yeah, I could uh, honestly use little, five yeah. minutes. So, folks, uh, we'll be back in five. Don't go anywhere, and then we're gonna actually gonna start the module proper. This was just a little, <laughs> a little. It, improv the, bit the, the prelude the prelude <laughs> i need i need because well, otherwise you just start in the town it's kind of slow i needed to come up with something that was kind of fun so mm -hmm. uh, folks don't and go anywhere to learn right so we'll be right back
Welcome back, folks. Uh, so this is the part Hoot of the nanny. program. Hoot nanny. Hoot nanny. <laughs> My root and toot. button. Yeah. Can that be the official name instead? Of talk to the chat. We'll just call this the hoot nanny. Was well, the hoot nanny or the holler? <laughs> oh, all of our. Either. I'm just watching our yeah initializing sequence. It's so weird because oh. it's so it's so freaking high tech looking. If you watch oh, on the stream right yeah. now, yeah. It's oh, like yeah, that's hilarious. No, I it too. Like welcome to Westworld, guys. Where what was is, this in Cyberpunk? What is K-Cub? Uh, so Chaotic Look 5x5, five five, what is K-Cub? And everyone will have to put their... Uh, it's, where, uh, it's where I live. Back in. During episode zero, so uh, so Millie is a, a VTuber, and during episode zero was here as her VTuber persona, which has a piece of cake on it on its head. Typically, yeah. I, I love to wear cake on my head. I would be doing it right now Jiggles. if I weren't Jiggles. playing a different costume. Good cake... Good, good cake has a little bit of jiggle to it. You don't want like a, a static cake that doesn't move. You but it was talking bit, about a little cake. bit of jiggle in it. It's like Pornhub for cake. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, now, Millie, did Frida use all of her tokens? Uh, nope, I didn't use any of them. Oh, okay. oh, it's refreshed, so you just have to put your numbers back in. Do, do. So you should be at three or four. four I'm gonna four. reload it. It says I think I was at five. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Frida was at five. And I didn't spend any of them. So, Fruit um, is locked and loaded and ready to discover what a toad is. What is it? A, a, horn, a toad. There's a snake in my boot. Um, at, at some point, I feel like I need to explain to people why Frida is like this, but we'll get there. It'll, we'll you'll get, get there. there naturally. Um, so uh, if you want to know more about what, what's going on, hold on, we'll get this. In. So if you want to know more about what's uh, what's going on with like K-Cub and Door Cub, go to, go to our tea public store. It's got like a lot of... It's got the custard damage shirt, which I can't believe I made. <laughs> I can't believe Taryn bought it. I can't believe Taryn bought it either. Yeah. I mean, she has two it's kids. Like, she's already taken it. She's, it's like well, the t-shirts all end up yeah. as the inside jokes on different streams. So if you're not watching all the streams, you're not seeing the jokes. Yeah. You're not, you're not seeing the t-shirts, that's for sure. Um, yeah. So anyway, folks, this is the part of the program where we talk to the chat. We're going to do this for like five more minutes, uh, like five real people minutes, not Kelly minutes. Kelly minutes take forever. <laughs> um yeah, ADHD minutes. They're great. They last forever. <laughs> oh, those are a mood. I love those yep. minutes. <laughs> Inexplicable it, time units. Yeah, it let's is, do five of those. It's like the other day where I'm like, I'm going to spend an hour writing like two pages for this this thing I'm running off camera or off stream for when we're on vacation. And then like eight pages later and an hour and a half longer. And I'm like, <laughs> when did I do this? Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> oh, balls. I, I have actually, so for ADHD, I have been trying the Pomodoro method. The Pomodoro mm -hmm. technique using this. It has a the green screen's taking it out, but it has a little like stem. It's so cute. It's pretty cute. No. So I've been using this, and the problem is it doesn't work on me because the bell rings and I just go, eh, five more minutes. So it just means that yeah. I have alarms going off constantly. <laughs> <laughs> but I, already have I, those I think because... that I would do the same. <laughs> I, I don't think it would work for me either, to be honest. My Google it, speaker just yells at me and says, Hey, get up. You need to get up now. You only have 10 yeah, minutes left, you have too. to get up now. <laughs> but 10 minutes that is an inexplicable amount of time. That could yeah, be true. an hour. I have no <laughs> idea. 10 minutes is great. I'm going back to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Mine tells me you have 10 minutes to check your messages on your phone before you have to go make coffee. It tells me my like step-by-step -step morning because otherwise yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> so do totally mine and then I'm still here. always behind schedule. Yeah, fair. <laughs> nice. All right. So, how you enjoying Deadline so far? Is this working for you, y'all? Oh yeah. So good. Yeah. So good. Oh, this hat is way it's more interesting. Way firmer than it should yeah. be. It's like a big old glass of water after a walk through the desert. <laughs> Truly. The game or my hat? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Both. Your, your, just... your hat is lovely. The only yeah. downside to this game thus far, and I explained it earlier, is the fact that I made an awesome costume not thinking All about right, the show fact me your you tassels. only see the show. Yeah. Show All right, come on, tassels. David, tassel off. Bring, bring it on. I have tassels. I have so many tassels. <laughs> I love the lady. Krista, I don't know if you heard, but you were playing with your tassels on camera while someone was parking their car and doing the, the horn beep. So you <laughs> literally were going yeah. beep, beep, beep as you were... It looked like you were honking your tassels, my friend. <laughs> you know what? I've done up. worse. So, was that? I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? Okay. I'm done. I've done worse. There are <laughs> worse things. Yeah. Okay. I. Ooh. 
maybe honestly maybe <laughs> probably probably as as Abby? I, I think so i i think so we've, then, we've had extra life games. i was gonna say at least in extra life games i've done worse oh, you know what that's one thing i want to shout out real quick so everybody um so dork tales is like we've had a couple scheduling snafus that have kind of like we've made us adjust a couple things this month um we should be back to normal uh as of the 16th of november uh so what is happening in the near future that we really need your help for is that on the first weekend of november we are doing our usual yearly extra life charity stream where we raise money for sick kids it's fantastic we're gonna run 12 i i cannot believe i'm saying this 12 games over three days uh i only have to run two of them though which is my favorite uh because i used to have to run six of them and that was a lot uh yeah but thank you thankfully like basically like everybody everybody here is going to be in the games or running the games uh the entire dork, dork tales team uh we are going to have some additional people like uh, our good friend precarious over from the the precarious stream is going to be coming over for an episode uh Ooh, nice. as, w cool. as well as uh we're, we're 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 doing all sorts of stuff we're even having the debut of somebody somebody in the uh in the audience i'm looking at right now mod face mod face mix james bodage <laughs> gets to, oh, gets to, me. It's, it's, it's the other James. The other James is going to get to play with us for an episode, so that'll be good. Or maybe Hell two, yeah. or maybe three. Oh, I don't know awesome. how. I don't know how free he is. Uh, so what? What? So we're raising money for sick kids. I'm just, I'm just reading chat instinctively. It's true. Come and watch. Come and play. Uh, I'm still figuring out what I'm going to run first. I might run the Doctor Who role playing game first, though. And Ooh, then just have yeah. everybody be doctor. doctor, 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 Doctor. Doctor. I'm the doctor. Did the did doctor. did Amy tell you the the thing that I'm running? Uh, you are you actually running it? Because I was pushing her to force you to run it. <laughs> Wait, which thing? Maybe those are now different things. Oh no! <laughs> Here, tell you, let me do does this. It, does it involve the the? Does it involve the? Is it the, is the, it the honor of Grey Skull? No, I thought it had to do with something being raw. <laughs> oh yes, that may also happen, but that that would be. Holy shit. That would be what? if I run two games. That would be one of the ones I have to be. Well, I will cancel but, my uh, game if you run that. Like, I will get a muscle suit right now. I'm, I'm going to go to Spirit <laughs> Halloween right now. I will run. Dude, just. I'll get the wig. I will. I'll, I'll do it. I'm going. I, I would. Okay. Well, I'll talk after stream because I, I think I could probably make two work if you, no, if no, you no. needed don't, me to. And, don't get the uh, wig. Do the uh, thing where. Know. The stream gets to pick your haircut. Get to not, wear not cool for this one. <laughs> oh my god, this is like I can get these as socks. The WWE Raw tabletop game. Raw. Oh, that's nice. Right. Like like an officially I will, licensed. I will have to recruit one of one of my mods to come assist because what? she is an absolute expert. I on every wrestling thing possible. I live with one of those. I know nothing. Mm. Absorbed I know most nothing of it. about wrestling. I know nothing about wrestling. Oh hi, speaking of mods, hi frogs. Okay. <laughs> How are you, Froggy? Doing? Is Frog a mod? Did I make Frog? Oh, he's a, or they're a mod on your channel, right? Yeah, they're a mod for me. I should make Frog a Ra mod. Raw is in fact put, more. Put the frog to work. Uh, all right, so uh, okay, we got one more minute of real uh, real time and Kelly time because I'm gonna I extended it. Uh, just to say, mm -hmm. come join us for Extra Life. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, however, after Extra Life, you're gonna notice that you're like, hey, what's with the schedule? Why don't you have any games? Because we're taking a week off. Uh, I need a break, uh, and a bunch of us dorks are uh, either spending a week relaxing and resting, or we're going up to like a little like workshop retreat, which we all we used to do every year anyway. It's just that now it's a business thing. Business. <laughs> it's a game thing. <laughs> Uh, it's so not it's just friends going camping and doing nerd shit. And people keep saying cabin, but it's not a cabin. It's a cottage. The, the, the cottages. There's no, there's like real fireplaces. Like it's fancy. It's not that fancy. Um, <laughs> it's actually pretty cheap if everybody splits things. Actually, it's really nice. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's so we're going to be away for a few days after that. And then we're going to triumphantly return um, and everything will be as normal. And then we'll start prepping for new games, which I am happy to announce uh, real quick that uh, we have uh, Reign of Emerys is going to be coming to an end in early December. However, uh, that's not all of the Elos uh, gaming. So our homebrew D&D &D setting uh, will return in January with a new game that is not named at the moment that is set in the lands of uh, of. Ex XLR, uh, which is creepy gothic horror. So, hey, it's my Ravenloft. Ooh. <laughs> and then, uh, and then in March, uh, no fun story. So I started casting that game and I'm like, okay, I can handle one more game. I can handle one more game. Homebrew? Sure. No big deal. I'll do that because like uh, our good friend uh, Jade uh, went and uh, became a Patreon backer at the uh, Divine tier and created some re something really creepy and Divine level. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't fit in any other game. I'll run a new game in January that kind of can use that. 
that is that vibe. And I, I was choosing between a few ideas anyway, so I just pretty much like cemented that. So I, no sooner do I send out the invites and cast that game, than within one minute of doing that, I get tagged by people in the Dork Tales Discord, which you should all join, uh, saying, hey, 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 are you guys going to run the just announced Critical Role Adventure module? <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah, in March. You know how the Wizards of the Coast drops one in September every year? And that you guys always run one, and it's like a really popular thing that you guys do on Dork Tales? Yeah, now they're doing it in March, too. Just proof again that Critical Role is destroying the D&D community. <laughs> <laughs> Send everything off schedule. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's there's the confirmation right there. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's starting, too, and I've started the casting procedures for that, because that's going to be... Uh, just gonna, we're going to have to watch a lot of Critical Role because it's set in their world and I know nothing about it because everything I've watched of Critical Role is from Campaign 1 where they're still using like a bunch of Pathfinder stuff, <laughs> right? I know Path, I know Galarian. I can run Galarian. <laughs> oh, so I really Let's like the way I look Pathfinder. when I say, just... I really like the just way I look it. when I say Galarian. <laughs> <laughs> so good job, Matt. Good job, Matt. I'll just play, you know what? I'll just run the game as Matt Mercer. I'll lose, there you go. I'll lose 60 pounds and I'll just grow like, I'll grow my hair out. And I'll... <clears throat> Hello everyone. And welcome to critical role. I'm Matt Mercer and uh, pardon me, Matthew Mercer and welcome to my table. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> I love doing the fake Matt Mercer voice. It's my favorite. <laughs> right. I have not watched. I, I have only watched him on dimension 20. So I know not, I, wow. I don't know a single I, I critical literally... role thing never seen any critical role anything i i actually don't totally know what matt mercer sounds like he's, he's kind either. of like that actually i, 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 I only, get i get pretty close i think i, get pretty close. I only decent. know him as as cowboy dude in in overwatch because it's the same person. You, you mean you mean cole cassidy yeah, cole yeah cassidy. Cowboy, cowboy dude. Now. do not go into the comment section on any of those articles they act like he was the like the the second coming. They're like, oh, they can't change his name. Yes, they can, dude. He's a character in Overwatch. We stopped caring about Overwatch four years ago. <laughs> like, it's the only game I play. <laughs> is it the only game you play? It's the only game I play. It's the only game I own. <laughs> oh boy, we gotta work on that. Oh, hey, on I, that. I, I, tea, I don't watch Critical Role. The tea I of don't... judgment. <laughs> because clearly, you should be joining me in Apex. What are you doing? Clearly. clearly. Uh, hey, you know what? Erica Ishii does voices in that, and she's or they are amazing, so nice. maybe I will. All right. So, uh, folks, I think it is time to uh, regret it being this warm in this room, but still hop back into game. Y'all ready for this? I can never say that my you know entire me. I love to hop. Without that song. Yeah. Everybody else, too? Yeah, okay. Yeah, me too, yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to close Amazon because I was looking up a costume. <laughs> Did it have muscles? I'm assuming it had muscles. It had muscles. <laughs> I I don't thanks to the pandemic. I used to oh god. I okay, to... so my my favorite part about this, sorry to go on another another one minute ADHD tangent here. Yeah. So if you do get a big muscle suit costume, that could work in both games. For the honor there you and go. Okay, we gotta we gotta we gotta touch base on this game. later because I need to know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, cowboys. <laughs> Yeah, the, though there's, there's a essentially like so. Remember Firebrands, the the mech one. There's one of those that's He Man Shira, so I'm gonna run that. And then there's also a wrestling game, which we can totally do. Which I actually have a copy of over there. I I have a. I thought you were gonna run the uh, the cooking one though. No. Oh man, that's what I was hoping for. That's well, the what raw. am I going to oh, do with all this beef bourguignon? <laughs> Can we not combine these two? It? I think we should combine these two. Oh, yeah, a wrestling cook-off. The Iron Chef. Fight to the death. It's like the Iron <laughs> Sheik. God. All right. So, uh, all right, folks. Let's hop back into game. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. Let's uh, grab all our shooters and hope they're six. I don't know. <laughs> you try to do some rhymes on the fly. You're not rap battlers, and you know it. I don't have to show it. All right, uh, and let me just quickly link you all the soundboard again. So anybody who wants to listen to the 
the saloon music and stuff that we're about to have can oh that's where that is i was wondering yeah, so it's just in the chat mm-hmm. that's where there was that that's why during the the first combat this was playing it's still it's still loading for me i got nothing you should be hearing it although if you're doing if you're doing something to roll 20 i don't hear anything yeah no no, no this is over the, uh, the link i just sent tabletop audio yeah, that, that's still loading. It's taking some time. All right. Demon Queen, I will hide It's loading brain. sounds. It's all like, what is the sound? We just don't know. We gotta load it. This hat was purchased before I had anything back here. Now it says connect. Connect. I connected. I hear things. Oh, man. Okay, so I've got three people up right now. So you should be able to hear some like music right connected now. Connected to server as some kind of a microphone robot. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, all right, so all right. loud though, and there's no volume control. Uh, I guess I'll just have to try. We got some regular... some dramatic, some dramatic hoot nanny sounds going on here. Yep. So this should work, and if it disconnects, just hit fresh. So I'm gonna handle the volume on my end, but I'll try to keep it pretty low. You should be hearing it about the same level that I'm hearing it. Yeah, I can hear it for sure. Just Sounds good. Turn my... All right, so folks, we're going to hop back into game right now. Thank you so much for handling us during our weirdo bits. Um, And uh, thank you very much. Hope you come back for more Deadlands. All right. All right, three. Oh, got it. All right, we're good. Uh, Two, one. Hello, and welcome back to Deadlands. Blood Drive, here on Dorktips. As, um... As we next find our posse, you've ridden in to Sutter Flats. Now, Sutter Flats is... There's not much to it, to be honest. After going by the uh, the general store, each of you is going to be paid your five bucks uh, for bringing in for bringing in the uh, the horses. And uh, Sutter's Flats is, well, not much to it. As you wander back out, five bucks richer in each of your hands, the camera's gonna pan around, and in the distance, you're gonna hear the sound of the Bayou Vermilion Railroad passing by. Much like everything else, this is going right by town. There's no stop here. There's no stop for the next 50 miles at least. Not even a railroad junction. In the distance, though, you hear the sound of... Well, the rest of the world passing this little hole, leaving it in the dust. Who's first to step out after getting their five bucks from the general store and restocking any supplies they need? <laughs> and please, are, are just... you telling me a giant, amazing metal device just vamoosed past us? I gotta go taste this thing and draw it because that's amazing. Sounds I good. I love it. All right, so so you already described your character. So Frida is gonna see that and go rushing out around side of the saloon and start mm. sketching dramatically as this iron yeah. worm. She probably wor- has to elbow anyone out of her way because Frida's <gasps> actually secretly super tiny, a thing I did not describe. I shouldn't. Okay, have done that. so as you do, you are going to knock someone out of the way, uh, and they are gonna tumble to the ground right at the base of the general store. Uh, anybody who is right there, who's the first person out, and are you looking to help this person? Uh, Dama certainly would. Okay, so a young woman has been knocked to the ground, a uh, dust kind of pluming around the bottom of her, uh, the bottom of her. Is she wearing a skirt? Let me double check. Feels like that would be the wrong thing to wear. Oh, that's skirt. She was wearing the wrong skirt. Uh, uh, ter- ter- pr- terribly sorry there, man. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's all. Well. Here, let me help you up. She brushes herself off. She's wearing a long brown skirt that goes down beneath her knees, as well as, as, well as a pair of riding boots. Uh, belted at the waist, she has um, a man-style dress shirt in white with a, with an open brown vest on top of it. Her face is pretty, strikingly so. And uh, if I had to cast her, I'd say Karen Gillan, early Doctor Who. Karen Gillan? Okay. And describe yourself. Sure. Uh, so Thomas uh, Thomas Catlett's... Um, uh, oh probably about 
25 or so. Uh, he's um, uh, he's a fairly tall guy, probably about 5'11", I would say, um, uh, but a bit on the kind of lanky side, a uh, bit a slightly pale skinned with just about the greenest eyes you could possibly imagine. Um, okay. And um, <laughs> right. Um, uh, so a pair of spectacles on his nose. He's got uh, a, a, a little more hair than I do. Um, mm. And uh, he's well dressed uh, a bit, but uh, all of his stuff is like fancy, well made, but uh, a little bit worn because it's been on the trail for a good long while. All right. And uh, yeah. All right. Um, she'll look up at your eyes and kind of quickly avert hers down toward her knees and then back up again through long, luxurious lashes that seem a bit unsuited for trail riding. But there they are on top of that pretty face. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, I should probably watch Where's where me? I'm going. Such strangers oh. around here. That was, uh, I'm afraid that was one of my companions. Uh, a strange little one named uh, Heckman. Uh, nice lady, though. Bit that was a lady? I thought it was some type of varmint. I know, right? <laughs> She's always underfoot. Thank you very much. If, um... Maybe I'll see you at the crow later. Maybe. And she'll I'd smile. Like that. And she'll smile and kind of duck out of the way, heading to the only other major building in town aside from the livery, which is the Lonely Crow Saloon. And uh, as this is happening, who is standing nearby watching all of this with kind of a hmm vibe to them? Who's who's the smug watcher? Is it do we got some Natasha Romanov vibes from from you with with a Clint Barton, or we have the old the old cowboy going? Hmm. Who who's doing it? I wouldn't be surprised if it's both of them. Just like yeah. <clears throat> well, who's describing themselves first? What are you doing as you're watching this exchange? Um, Ida's probably like that traditional cutout that people have on their fences of a of a cowboy leaning up against the post. <laughs> Um, so the camera's gonna exactly just, what we're talking about. The camera's just going to pan mm. to the left slightly, revealing that you've just been standing there the whole time. Is that what you're saying? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh, just leaning back up against the wall of the... Because it was the general store that we were in, yeah? Yeah, yeah petting yeah. yeah. Um, So I'll just be leaning there, saddlebags over one shoulder, uh, with a rifle boot on one leg, pistol on the other, just lean it back, shaking their head. <laughs> so, Thomas will kind of look, look look over and probably just kind of uh, look, probably look slightly embarrassed and he notices <laughs> you kind of think, and he'll go, uh, how's it going, Ida? Wonderful. Uh, Thomas? Yes, Ed. yeah. You don't, you don't have to call me Catlet. That's, Thomas is fine. <clears throat> Thomas will kind of lean up against the, the thing, too, looking very out of place compared <laughs> to... Trying to adjust. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll probably just... <laughs> How do you do this casually? This just... This is awkward as hell. And uh, speaking of awkward as hell, the uh, floorboard on the deck is going to creak, and uh, Trenton is going to step out. Trenton, describe yourself, please. Well, as on top of the creaking, there's going to be the sound of spurs going, too. You know, the classic cowboy. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. Cre creaky on. spurs going. <laughs> and uh, he'll lean down and pull out a cigarillo out of his vest pocket, pop it into the corner of his mouth and light it up and give them both uh, a long, steely gla gra glaze with both of his eyes in both directions and be like, where'd the third one get off to? I believe she went running after a train. Yeah. Well, I doubt she's gonna catch it, so we should probably be back this way in no time. <laughs> look, look down at Short his pocket watch. Legs. Trenton looks like a uh, delicious, gritty smoothie between uh, Arthur from Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. Red Red uh, Redemption is the dumpling Red, Red, version. Redemption. Um, Clint Eastwood and uh, the Duke. And right. just, uh, just, Ooh. just like the total mashup of like all the cowboy stereotypes. He's got uh, leather chaps on. He's got silver spurs. He's got a big Bowie knife and a revolver in his waistband. And uh, 
Yeah, just smoking a cigarette like nothing's gonna phase them in the world. Okay. Meanwhile, around the side of the uh, the Lonely Crow Saloon, uh, Frida, you're gonna be sketching this train as it hurdles by, and um, it's pretty long. It looks like it's carrying all manner of things. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably coal and building materials and other supplies. And Maybe even some steel, maybe even for further railroad expansion. But all you see is just flashing over and over, Bayou Vermilion Railroad. Bayou Vermilion. Over and over. Before long, it'll Does pass it look it. like it's using typical coal, or is it using something fancier? It looks like it's just using regular coal. And it's rolling it up into the sky in thick black clouds that stretch up toward heaven. Like a funeral pyre. What a wondrous device. Where are y'all headed after this? Get a drink? Something to eat, maybe? Oh, sorry, I can't hear you, bud. Muted myself again. I bad. I was, typing so I was typing something earlier. Enough, right? <laughs> Both of us. Uh, I'll probably look between the two men and nod at the saloon and walk that way. Sounds good to me. All if right. I see Frida on the way, I'll sort of raise a hand in a wave. I think she'll be wandering back around the corner about the time you do this, having like her book out and sketching through it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you get a good one, Miss Heckman? I feel like I never see the front of these things. Well, if you see the front of one of those, it's going to be the last thing you see. <laughs> one day, I will see one stop. Uh -oh. a slightly bigger town for that, but perhaps one day. <laughs> one the day. The saloon doors will part for you, and you hear a, a jazzy piano playing. The saloon has a few people in it. And inside, you can see that the bartender is pouring all sorts of whiskey and things. And as you enter, uh, he'll look over at you and glance over toward uh, the one vacant table in here. Sized for... F well, looks like it's sized for six, but... Eh. You head over? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just see what this town's got in it, which is not much. <laughs> provided, provided there's no card games going on. Those might draw Thomas aside. I mean, you want to spend a Benny to make a card game happen? Uh, yeah, sure. Hell, let's do it. All right. I'll so in the distance, you hear the flip, flip. Oh, that staccato of cards shuffling and being dealt. Oh, like literally Tom will just kind of like literally kind of stutter step and be like. Like, like a cartoon <laughs> character smelling a pie. Oh. You are drifted over. Yeah. I, he'll he'll sort <laughs> like a buzzard over a body in the desert. He'll actually turn back to the group. I'll be back with you in just a minute. A barkeep, and he's gonna go for an order of whiskey. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right. So the prices here are pretty standard. So um, in the Deadlands book, you can order uh, any food that you'd like. Um, here, uh, looks like it serves. Uh, it's it's about late lunch, and actually, you know, by the time you got there, it'd be dinner right now. The sun's still up, but it's probably about about eight o'clock at night right now. Um, let me double check something real quick. So this is in... This is actually one of the only modules I'll ever run where the time of year matters. We'll say, we'll <laughs> I say it's, suppose that's true, yeah. We'll, we'll say it's 6 o'clock, just because I can't find it quickly. You got a couple of hours before sunset, or or maybe it's right around the corner. I don't care. Uh, let's <laughs> see. It doesn't really matter for going buying buy a beer. Uh, so the Lonely Crow offers dinner. Now, the meal here, if you want to get it, is beef and beans. Um, and occasionally, it might even have another type of beans, and on special occasion, uh, beans with a hunk of bacon. Right now, uh, let's see if it's a special night right now. Mm. What do you know? Beans and bacon tonight, folks. Uh, it sports a, a wide range of alcohol from watered-down whiskey to watered-down tequila, and nothing in between. <laughs> I like the way these things are described. Uh, the bartender is... Um, is a fairly large, bald man with uh, with a handlebar mustache stretching down. Uh, gonna do for you. Uh, oh, I'll take a whiskey, please. 
Mm. And they'll, uh, they'll sell you the whiskey at market value. Sure. And uh, you can see that the place is not particularly... It's got a player. It's got a couple of card dealers. And uh, that's really about, about it. Well, Thomas can uh, hardly resist, um, so he'll uh, he'll go over and. Uh... Sounds good. Uh, everybody else, you can go ahead and get whatever food you'd like, or uh, or any of that, and uh, you can you can kind of enjoy yourself and relax. The card table's almost dead by the time you get to it, but you might be able to pull a little bit out of it. It's kind of a quiet night here. In fact, you start to think that it's a quiet night anywhere. He's a little sign up at the front of the of the bar that says rooms for rent. As well as a price. Uh, rooms rented nightly, weekly, or monthly. Um Ida will go up to the bartender, I guess. It would would he traditionally be the one that would deal with all of it? I think uh, I think so. He's got one worker right now who's going around. Um Kind of a kind of a, a heavy set woman in her early thirties, who's kind of wandering around. Um, you think that given the way she's dressed, she's definitely wearing a bit of a push up, um, kind of uh, uh, like a bustier, perhaps. Uh, she might do some double duty in the evening around here, and then again, so might the bartender. Um, but she'll turn and eventually make it to your table if you give her a sec, or you can head to the bartender if you want to just make it happen now. Oh, uh, well, if she's already making rounds, I'll wait for her. Howdy, y'all. What can I get for you? Uh, I'm not quite sure about these folks, but uh, if I can get a, one of your dinners and maybe yep. a room for the night. Uh, well, we got... Boone, we still got rooms? Yep, we got two. That's all we got, Boone. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind him. He, uh... His head's just full of rocks and socks. Now, uh, yeah, I can do a room for the night. Uh, let's see. That gonna be... Uh, you, you'd pay up with him. Uh, but that's gonna be... Whatever the price in the core book is. Because they, <laughs> I'm they... on the page, but I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm so bad at finding things. Services. Hotel. Services. Two dollars. Yeah, for a night. So, be two dollars for a night. Does this count as a hotel? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's either also, low class or the lower is boarding house. We'll say this is going to be boarding house cost then. Okay, it's a dollar then. Uh, I think you can do it for a buck, probably. Uh, all right, two dinner, two dollars for dinner and room then. That sounds fair. That sounds fair to me. Uh, bring that out for y'all. Do y'all need anything else to drink? Any whiskey? Any? Uh, we're not. We're out of beer. Uh, any tequila? We got tequila. It's. Uh, Fresh from south of the border. I, I would love to try this tequila. Absolutely. You I'll got a funny accent, well. friend. Where are you from? The natural sciences department. Oh, back east. Are you from? Are you from Texas State? Just gonna look at Thomas, then Trenton, <laughs> then Ida, kind of nervously. Uh, no. Ma'am, how about you turn that into a bottle? Frida will split that. Um, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I'll pitch in for that too. I can do that, absolutely. I'll even oh. let you have the worm. All right. There is a, a, a worm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sketch pad. <laughs> All right, well, she's going to go and, and grab your food and uh, and bring it back to you. Um, as she does, uh, she's gonna leave, she's gonna come back with the tequila first before the food, leave it on the table with, um, uh, I guess she counted you on the way in, so four shot glasses, um, as well as, you know what, she's even gonna throw in the most emaciated lime you've ever seen in a knife. Ooh. You think it might be the worm that was being talked about? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't mean she, she's and heard about to... the, the those giant worms in California, wherever that is, and is very excited to find them. So, uh, this is uh, this is going to be ooh, what's what's the is gold or silver tequila cheaper? I can't remember off the top of my head. Silver, silver, yeah. 
This is gonna be basically like this is gonna be like tequila vodka. Like it's gonna be like super and watered down. Uh, and there is this little like caterpillar looking worm in the bottom of this. Is it like the Olympics where it's like gold is the best, silver is the next, then there's copper, and we're drinking like tin? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're drinking like tin. That's that's that. <laughs> Well, fancy over here. <laughs> this is like aluminum, maybe. Um, no, it's literally out of a tin. They got a little can opener oh, and everything. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wood alcohol. That's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely have the worm. All right. Who dr Y'all gonna drink it? Oh, oh yeah. definitely. All yeah. right, just give me, a, g give me a vigor roll with plus two, because it's pretty, it's oh, pretty no. watered down. Uh, does the whiskey have the same effect? Vigor. Vigor is one of your attributes. Yeah. It's a d4. I know what it is. Yeah. I roll a d6 too, still, don't I? Or do I just roll uh, a d4? You still do, yeah. yeah. Uh, does, uh, oh, does uh, oh, uh, whiskey I have the same effect? Sorry, does, does whiskey what? Does whiskey have the same effect? Yeah, might as well. I think you'll be fine oh. if you're if you're drinking while you're playing, though. So I have an interesting yeah. situation. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> um, Did you roll double I'm once? One of my hindrances is a uh, trouble magnet, which means my critical fails are particularly bad, and I just rolled a pair of ones. <laughs> oh. So I guess I'm uh, oh. start starting a bar fight or something. I don't know. You can spend yeah, a Benny to defuse it if you yeah, want. Yeah, I'm spending. Can I okay. spend two? You can spend two. I'll let you spend two. I'll let you spend two. <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't think you can. Can you not? I thought that uh, was one of the things you can do with Benny. Uh, but I think that might not be the case if you have that one, because I think I have that oh, quality, too. Don't make me shoot the bartender. That man's going to bring me food. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. That one makes everything subtle, like critical failure, subtly worse. That's 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 as literally its definition. Uh, so yeah. subtly, maybe you'll break a table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, can, you can still buy them off. You can still buy them off. Oh, you can? Yeah. yeah, you can. So you can reroll. Oh, sorry. Pardon me. Benny's also grant the hero to reroll any trait, and best of all, you get to keep the best total from your rolls. The only exception is a critical failure which ends the attempt and must be accepted. Ta-da! I thought I read that. <laughs> well, balls! <laughs> well, Trenton's not a good drinker. <clears throat> now, okay. I rolled super well. So do if I get raises, can raises adjust it? Uh, not for, <laughs> for you, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, what you are going to hear uh, as you, Frida, your, what did you roll on yours? I need to know Frida first. Uh, four. Four. Perfect. Oh, so this is gonna this is gonna <laughs> burn a bit on the way down, and for some reason you're gonna be like, yeah, if you drank a little more of this, you might be dancing on that table. There's just you. There's some magnetic pull, some potion that just makes women dance on tables. I don't know what it is, but wow. yeah. Kilo makes her clothes fall <laughs> off. It, it, it. You feel like a, your clothing has like a magnetic pull to the floor. I don't know damn, what it is. Damn it! My trousers fell down. <laughs> Uh, so, but there Trent are so many buttons. <laughs> so Trenton, uh, as you take a drink, you're gonna toss your head back, and in the uh, in the lantern light of the inside of the saloon, um, your face is gonna be completely revealed, and you're gonna hear kind of like, well, you're not gonna hear it, but the audience can hear dun dun dun, as a man kind of looms out of the shadows. Thought I saw you, and you're gonna hear the click of a revolver push directly at your back. Uh, however, uh, Krista, you said you rolled really well. I rolled an 11 on a d4. Okay, so you actually <laughs> are going to see this man approach in the reflection the, of the tequila in the bottle as it's back on the table. And mm -hmm. I want you to, let's all draw a card real quick. Oh boy. Jeez. And, uh, oh dear. Ooh. Ace of hearts. Nice. Ace of hearts. Ooh. Uh, Krista, oh, you may draw two spades. cards. Two? Ace oh, you got ace and of take spades? take better? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, two, two take the better. And Trenton, you're gonna just, you're gonna go last. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get, uh, uh, Krista? Uh, you, uh, I got the four of clubs and the nine of hearts. Uh, okay, sounds good. So that means I'm not that sure you are better. going to go, yeah, you, James beat you. What'd you get, Millie? The, the ace of hearts. Okay, Ace of Hearts. Okay, so I've got James, Millie, Krista, and then whoever this is. Um, all right, sounds good. Uh, so, James, nearby, Thomas is is at the card table dealing out. We're going to go back in time about, about 30 seconds. Dealing your first round of cards. Now, how do we do gambling in this game? Let's find um, out. 
actual Yeah, so uh, I think basically, I, I think we would probably handle it mostly like normal. Uh, and then I what I do is you, I roll gambling and I basically get extra cards. Okay. Um, because if I get a success, I get an extra card. I get If I get a raise, I get two extra cards and then I get to build from there. Okay. And I've also got the high roller trait, which I think gives me a third one. So I have a distinct advantage over these poor fools. All right, so go ahead and roll <laughs> it because you already started it off. All right, cool. Uh, so let's do it. So I just got to my stats, and I've got gambling at uh, D10. Go on. All right, here we go. D6, D10. Let's see it. <laughs> Not great. I only got a. I only got a three. <laughs> so I think I'm just getting. You can spend uh, a penny to reroll. Yeah. Sure. I'll spend a penny to reroll. There we go. So I've got an eight. An eight total. Okay. Let me just roll for some of these. Mooks, and don't forget okay. to move your Benny. Eight and a five. Yeah. Will do. Nope. Nope. And well, definitely nope. All right. So you are going to um, you are going to be like dealing out the card, or you're getting the cards dealt to you, uh, and you're going to be in minutes a stack of chips high on the table. About uh, let's see, how much did you put down? Oh, I've got uh, I probably like two dollars, which is like half my wealth. Yeah, you're you're at ten bucks already. All right, awesome. Okay, uh, and cool. as as you're looking at your cards right now, looking down, you've got you got a straight run. It's uh, it's it's low numbers, but it's you've got well two, three, four, five. All right, all right, all right. Six. <laughs> You can't really. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, yeah, he has yeah. five cards. So. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, as you are doing that, uh, you are going to see out of the corner of your eye this as well, as uh, as you kind of like see the man next to you kind of leer over trying to get a glance at your cards without him, without him being caught. You're too trained for this, and you're going to just kind of like glance over his direction, tuck him in, and as you do, you're going to see a man step out of the shadows with a gun drawn on Trenton's back. You're first. What do you do? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll just Thomas will just mutter under his breath. Uh, I'll raise, the other man says. <laughs> 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 um, I think at this point, I think, I think, I think Thomas would basically just like, he, he's, I'm just going to hold my action because I don't, I, I, I don't have anything I can do right in this particular situation. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, this is unfortunate. All right, so uh, for whom, Frida? What do you do? I don't think I am aware, am I? Uh, so you are gonna hear, you're gonna hear the man coming up from behind and saying that. I thought I recognized you, you son of a bitch. Am I aware that he has a gun? Uh, you aren't, and then you'll hear. Right. And I definitely just have my first shot of tequila ever. Yeah. <laughs> so the answer is to stand up and go attempt to shake this person's hand and introduce myself. <laughs> okay. So are you trying to grab his gun? Uh. So here, here's I want to mostly wanna... not not specifically, but she's going to see if she can just take a hand. Okay, but here's Either the thing: are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. He's right-handed too, and his right hand has a gun in it right now. So would the polite thing be and to be to... be to take the gun and then shake his hand? <laughs> I think so, yes. <laughs> okay, so why don't we... Uh, I'm going to say this is going to be... What would it be to remove something? Would that just be... Uh, well, uh, is there fighting? Agility or... I feel it could like be a be skill a, I don't have I because think, there are like many skills fighting. I don't have. Like a called fighting? shot? It, no, I think you're just grabbing. I think it's just uh, going to be a high yeah, fight roll. Fighting. Yeah, he, he's not well, exactly... He's not moving or dodging, so... Oh, a disarm? Yeah, it'd be a disarm, so... Yeah, yeah, it would be disarm. So disarm, let's look that up real quick. Oh, got um, it right here. It's literally minus two to your attack. Defender must make a strength roll versus the damage or drop the weapon. Okay, sounds good. Uh, All right, well, let's try it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, oh, hey. So you're at a, he, he has a defense of, I believe, let me just pull this up real quick. Gunslinger. Bullshit. Where is he? Gunman, there we go. Perry. DC 16. Uh oh. DC DC 92. 
pace parry. Sorry, I'm just double checking. Do you guys remember what your natural defense is? Uh, well, I believe this one would just be contested, wouldn't it? Is it? Just, oh, it is just contested. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't think there's a. Okay. Yeah, toughness is your only defense. I think. Yeah. Uh, All right. Sa using, like, armor Sounds good. So that's going to be. Uh, what'd you get? Seven on a d4. Probably not enough. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a contested roll. Did you roll your d6 as well, by the way? I did, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so you have a minus four to, or a minus two to that, so that turns it into a five. Uh, right, I rolled, yes. I rolled a I two. I don't add the d6 to it, right? It's I take the highest of the two of them. You take the highest of the two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, lurching forward, you're going to just reach over. Oh, how do you do this? How does it work? Tell me how it goes. Oh, she's just going to walk up to shake his hand and say, uh, Professor Frida Heckman, Natural Sciences Department, welcome to the table. Oh, take the gun and shake his hand. What? And, uh, yeah, you've Would you like a drink? Uh, all right, so that is going to be what you do in your turn. Uh, Krista, the gun has been pulled directly out of the man's hand. Uh, he drew iron on you at a table. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are within your legal rights to shoot him dead, just saying. Uh, I will, <laughs> from kind of under the table where he can see it, um, but not like the whole room can, will have her rifle trained. Actually, no, I, I've got a quick draw um, thing for my pistol. So she'll have her pistol kind of pointed like right at his junk okay. um, from kind of under, like just sort of holding it just out to the side. So it's just like touching his inner thigh. And looking up at him and then looking down at Trenton, be like, uh, Trenton, would you like to introduce us to your friend? All right. Uh, all right. So that I'll is... intimidate him if you'd like. I would like that. So I'm going to see if I can resist <laughs> that. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I want to see. Okay. Uh, five. Okay. <laughs> cool. I botched. So. <laughs> oh, no. Because unless I'm unless I'm using this wild cards, guy. they don't get the D6, right? Disarmed mm -hmm. by a nerd. Yeah. Uh, so so good. you push forward and nestle the barrel of the gun so that it cups his right testicle. And mm, I am. That Trenton? Who is this? Looking back, Trenton, you can see a man named Rufus Shaw. Rufus Shaw is a one-eyed bandero. Where do you know him from? Why does he hate you, and why does he want to shoot you in the back? <laughs> Trenton will turn back to his drink and fire a shot back, and then be like, Oh, don't you have a price on your... And turn back over his shoulder and look down at the gun at his uh, equipment <laughs> and go, Head? <laughs> you, you here to collect or uh, offer? Well, I don't rightly know, he says, glancing down at the barrel of the gun. Trenton will kick out one of the, uh, the spare chairs and be like, well, sit your ass down and let's have a drink then. Ida will move the gun slightly away, but like keep it trained on him and like track it under the table if he goes to sit down. I I'm going to need to cash out right now, gentlemen. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> uh <laughs> Shit! No, you gotta play through the hand, buddy. Well, I just broke character. Thanks. You gotta play through. You gotta play through. Take a Benny, James. All right. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I need another gambling roll off you, though. Okay, sweet. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a nine. Oh, okay, because the guy that raised oh. is gonna look at you. Oh. No, you gotta play through. Come on. You yeah. get... <laughs> Thomas is gonna roll his eyes. Like, okay, you've you, you've you've got you've got you've got a pair of twos, right? Like, you, I'm sorry, man. You don't. You, you... Are you looking at my cards? I ain't got a pair of twos. <laughs> pair of threes. I'm gonna look at your cards. Right? Pair of threes. <laughs> 
I'm gonna flip my cards. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna cash you out. You're gonna walk away from the table with uh, with 13 bucks. Sweet, I have money again. <laughs> yep. So plus 11 bucks, basically, yep. on top of what you had. Um, so awesome. that's gonna that's great. Uh, they're gonna cash you out of the pot, and um, yeah, that was a big ticket. So uh, Rufus is gonna look it down at all of you and say, "Well, actually, I prefer to be making my leave." It's probably a good choice. Y'all have a good night. You as well, Mr. Shaw. And you make sure you don't We're show your... We're confused at the gun. You don't what show do do your face in alcohol. <laughs> How about you d dump them bullets out and give him his gun back? <laughs> like, one at a time. Not really sure how to use a revolver. <laughs> You're keeping bad company. He says, looking down at Trenton. Oh, absolutely the worst. Well, you know, we offered you up a seat, but uh, it's been nice to see you. I hope we don't meet again. You better not meet me in Oklahoma. The law's on my side there. He says, tucks the gun away and backs out the door, keeping his eyes on you. I and keep the, the gun <laughs> trained under the table the absolutely. entire way till he's out. Trenton pours another round of shots for everyone. Okay. Thomas, uh, will, Thomas will come over and join. <laughs> Making friends again? You have a knack for that, Skinner. I was just drinking. I don't know what you want from me. That was awkward. Hmm. Uh, you know, tra traditionally, Miss Heckman, um, you shouldn't remove a gun from someone's hand uh, as it might go off. Uh, and uh, oh. I, I, I don't <laughs> think that would end terribly well for you. Thank you for this valuable insight. Anytime. <laughs> and pour her another shot. <laughs> <laughs> Puts it in my notes. <laughs> do not accidentally take a gun when shake hand. <laughs> where where exactly do you come from, Miss Heckman? Like, I've never heard of any place that doesn't have guns. Oh, we have guns. I'm from the Natural Sciences Department. <laughs> Ugh. A lumbering <laughs> shape approaches from the distance. Well, that was a hoot. Howdy, strangers. Man approaches your table. He's tall, broadly built, walks with a limp, pushing somewhere in his probably 60s. A big, droopy mustache. We're talking one of those ones that seems like a shovel blade coming out from his nose, and a little bit of a soul patch that droops down to his... Well, what was once a handsome chin, but is now kind of merged with the rest of his jowls over time. He's wearing, uh, well, simple cowboy, uh, well, simple cowboy vestments. Uh, a red shirt that, well, probably was a bit brighter at one point, now is more of an orange. A brown hat with a black band around it that he will toward the ladies at the table. <clears throat> and, uh... He does have a gun on his hip, but it is, uh, you know, is safely holstered, and his hand is nowhere near it. He knocks the dust off of his clothes and introduces himself to you. Howdy, strangers. My name's Bill Sutter. I know most everybody hereabouts. I didn't recognize you, so I wanted to say welcome to Sutter Flats. Just to clear things up, the town was named after my daddy. He was the first settler in this area, but that's as far as this connection goes. Oh hell. I ain't no good at small talk. I'm looking for some extra hands. I'm getting ready to pull up stakes. Bayou Vermilion has got a stranglehold in the cattle trade around these parts. Due to being the only railroad within 100 miles. And the prices they offer... We're well, calling them highway robbery is an insult to bandits. Hmm. hmm. I'm guessing you're working people. He's the ones who dropped off them horses with Pettiner. That'd be us. Well, if you're looking to make some more money, I could use people who are willing to put in a hard day's labor 
for a fair day's pay. Doing what exactly? I need ranch hands. Doing a cattle drive all the way up into the Great Plains. Uh, out of character, cattle how long drive. is that? Uh, so from here, basically what he is saying is, so you are right near the, <clears throat> the, uh, the Mexican border, and he is trying to get to, so the Great Plains basically are going to be kind of like up around or past um, like Oklahoma and Kansas. So uh, let me just take a look at what that is. I don't know if they say on the map. So he is, so, oh, they do say, on, they do have it on the map. So he, so the Great Plains, he's probably talking about getting up to like near where the Sioux are. Uh, so up near near Cheyenne or Laramie, that's a hell of a trip. So let me just do a quick Google map on this. <laughs> so straight as the as the bird flies, uh, that's gonna be uh, let's let's say it's the Mex bicycling. How long does it take to bike there? That'll be the closest. Oh, oh, there we go, Mexican border to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Okay. Nope, if you type it correctly, Kelly, that's <laughs> No, that's to, to get to Vancouver. No, I don't care about that. Okay, so we'll say... We'll add 100 miles to whatever this is. I'll just say San Antonio. Uh, and cycling uh, is much longer. Uh, that is 1,000 miles, give or take. Probably give. That says 1,500 miles from border to Cheyenne. <laughs> What's that about in days? Like a week? It's, it's a while. Okay. It's a while. It depends. It depends on a lot of stuff, actually. Um, do... do <clears throat> are, there, are there any particular dangers aside from... The average things. The average that things. That we know about. Uh, basically, just the average things. It's um, the the Sioux Nation doesn't really do raids or anything like that terribly often. Like they, ever since they got the, you know, magic, uh, they're they're a little better equipped to deal <laughs> with like you know settlers coming in, um, mm -hmm. and they're they're pretty formidable. Uh, and there are the things that happen in the plane, and there and you know there are of course the rumors Bandits. of things, bandits, and of course those rumors of things that happen in the night that none of you believe in, right? Mm. Um, but there might be some uh, there might be some stuff now here's the question is you might be worried or concerned that uh, why the hell aren't you just going up to like I don't know Dodge City or somewhere in Oklahoma right because that's half the distance and Dodge City is a major cattle trading point that's the whole point of it well, why are you going them so far mm. well <clears throat> Kansas and Oklahoma had a had a glut recently. Bottom out the prices. I could take them there, but you know, I like to be paid for my work. I ain't gonna get that there. It's highway robbery for any of us working men out here or women. Must be quite the price difference if it's worth paying mm. a number of hands. Well. You gotta pay not, for quality. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to speak over you. Sorry, I was just saying I've never been on a cattle drive. That would be a good try. That would, you know? That'd be quite the experience. Imagine all the things we could see out there. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I'll be the case. <laughs> try not to look extremely excited. <laughs> really extremely excited. Like I said, I it my, it's my plan to take my herd and leave. I've got a solid crew, but I'm shy. Four hands. Who else, hmm? Who else uh, you got? Who else you got? I got a bunch over here. That one right there. That's my foreman. Says gesturing to a black man at the bar who's just slowly sipping a whiskey. Yeah. Looks decent. Decent shape. About 25. Kind of looks a little bit like um, young Wesley Snipes. Doesn't you know? look like a dude. Looks like a ranch hand. Um... Looks like he might have seen some trouble in his earlier life. Maybe yeah, we're, we're pretty close to the end of the war. He might mm -hmm. have been involved in that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I mean, he does like he doesn't look like city folk. He looks. Oh like no, he's no, no, a no. He's, he's dusty and his clothes are worn. He's he's been with him for for a while, from the looks of it. Yeah, that's what I mean by. And uh, you already met my niece. He said, he says, gesturing over where uh, 
uh, a very attractive red-haired girl is standing by the door. Oh. <laughs> Abby, said that, disp- Abby said you're son of a gentleman. Uh, I like to think so, yes. Uh, but uh, this would be uh, all I'd like. This, no. I, this sounds good to me, folks. Like, mm. I mean, I, now, how are you? Like, I, I'm afraid I don't really have any experience as a ranch hand, That's but I'm more right. than willing to learn. I'm, as much as I want experienced trail riders, I'm willing to settle for anybody who's willing to put in a bit of work and knows which end of the gun the bullet comes out of. Pickens getting slim. And I want to get on the trail before we get too far into spring. It's spring. <clears throat> Nobody comes to Sutter's Flats. If they got anywhere else to be. That's why I thought I might make you the offer. I pay $30 a month. I think the drive will probably take about mm, one to two months. And then, uh, well, it's going to take me about a month here to get things, uh, to get things ready to go, to round them up here. Uh, gotta fatten them up and healthy before heading out. You don't want to work them all like that, but uh, my ranch is just up here. I can get you to work tomorrow morning, and you don't have to pay to sleep here. Mm. And, I, and I'm assuming you supply food and incidentals and all that? Yeah. You gotta get your <laughs> fill of beans. Well, I think I'm in if my companions are. Come on. I'll, I'll look an at Ida. Ida. I'll look at Frida looking very <laughs> excited. I'll look at Thomas looking very excited. Look very worried. <laughs> uh, and then look over at Skinner to get a read. Skinner's pretty much looking down at his uh, empty shot glass. Just kind of contemplating the situation. Actually, let uh, me let me just retcon something real quick. So you think he might be headed that direction? That's actually a little bit in advance. So... Uh, Odds are he's probably heading towards somewhere like Roswell or Denver. Because those are a bit closer. So, okay. so my bad, my bad. I misread something. You won't be going all the way up there until an accident happens. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Oopsies. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to kind of lean over to, to Trenton and kind of kind of do one of these. So it just talking real real subtle <laughs> um exactly um uh skinner that's a lot of fresh blood on the trail i could use the money but not if it ain't another hand that i know will be useful Ada, what do you think they're whispering about <laughs> well i have no idea Okay, but it must be important. I suspect that it is. Yes. Trent's going to lean back in his chair. they are talking about us. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, Mr. Sutter? Yep. Uh, I I should warn you, as much as I want to be taking your money, uh, I used to... I used to run some cattle drives before in my day, and uh, I don't know if you... (laughs) You, you, you're aware, but uh, I, I feel like my, my family bloodline's been uh, cursed, and uh, last, last time I did a cattle drive, things went really south. And uh, I, I was told that uh, you, you should be a man I should talk to. Um, I'm, look, I'm looking for one of my family heirlooms. It's a, it's a gun, about yay big, all covered in silver filigree. I know what a gun and, looks like, son. Well, now this He's like a year older than you. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Not 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 this gun. This gun's uh this gun's got a life of its own. It seems to go where it wants to go and ever since it left me things have not not gone well. Mm. I I I wanna work for you, I wanna take your money, I wanna do a good job, but I thought I should warn you first. Mm. Well, you know, uh, (sighs) 
I don't believe a lick of that. Or in a lick of it, at least. It's fine if you bring your your beliefs into this. But I believe in the hard work and the integrity of a man's sweat is better protection than any crucifix. And, uh, well, the devil can keep himself. If you're going to work, I need all the help I can get. And somebody who knows a little bit, even if they're a superstitious one, well, less to explain. No, oh, uh, I think somebody just got posted in chat. Yeah, I posted Ooh. it. It did not post well, my bad. <laughs> Oof. If you're a mod, delete V64 it. V64 encoded image. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I was trying to I don't set. a mod. Mod was... stuff up. Are you not a mod? I am a mod, but I'm, I'm not in mod view. There we go. And also, I cannot believe... I, I cannot delete your message. Only you may delete your message, I believe. No, oh, I can't even delete my message. So that's fun. I'm in... Not I'm you're doomed. I am doomed. Generally. Mm -hmm. what I, so that's what the Bill and Abby look like I just posted in the chat so alright okay also real quick hi hey Liz good to see you hi Liz but if you welcome raiders look if you're interested in joining a lot of you you can come up tomorrow the lazy ass ranch just outside <laughs> sorry well, that's a good pun one of my favorite. <laughs> okay, good. Sorry. It uh, you make it up there, bright and early. I'll get you to work. Uh, Ida will reach a hand out to stand from the table, reach mm. a hand out, shake. I am. All right. Now he will happily shake anybody's hand who's willing to mm -hmm. willing to make this offer. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Vanderbilt, right. to meet you. Friend's a little apprehensive, but he'll shake it. We should discuss amongst mm. ourselves. Well. However, hopefully. I am excited. Good. I like a little excitement. Plus, you're, uh, you German. Uh, sort of. Do you do, uh, do you do spack, spacky? Like potato pancakes. My, my granny used to do them. Oh, not well. Well, hell, you'd probably be better than <laughs> I'd be out there. And if you've got any of them German recipes in your, in your noggin. I will certainly try. I'll have to have you talk to, uh, have you, have you talk to my boy, my boy Javier. He normally runs the cook wagon, but I do miss those recipes. We ain't got no sour cream out here, though. But anyway, I digress. That is unfortunate. The silk to see you soon. Lazy ass, don't forget. And he I'd I'd forget that one. He sidles mm -hmm. out kind of wandering toward the door on his bad leg. Um, definitely has, like, he's tr kind of the vibe. I'm not quite getting quite enough grit, grit in the voice, but you know what I'm doing. You know, I'm doing the Jeff Bridges, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gargle and gravel. Gargle and gravel, but I need to be... Oh, damn it, I just had it right there. Could have yeah. been my <laughs> entire time. It's, it's not easy to maintain, though, so don't hurt yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty easy. You just talk with, you talk with these teeth. Jack, I can't do it. No, I, I got nothing. Here. Uh, hoot nanny. Hoot nanny. <laughs> I want a hoot nanny counter. The bottom card. Right now. We, we um. He he was like offering like board after tonight, correct? Well, as he's walking out, you can ask for it tonight. Um. Okay, mm. uh, sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, this establishment appears to have only two rooms, and there are more of that, that of us. Uh, would we be, if we're willing to start bright and early tomorrow, <laughs> mind if we make our way over tonight? Well, hell. 
You mean y'all don't you don't want to be stacked up like firewood? I almost ain't a big fan of my snoring. It's true. Well, mm -hmm. I reckon the rest of the ranch hands ain't gonna be either, but it looks like it's there a dim misfortune tonight. But if you wanna come with me, I'm gonna be making my way out of town. Mm. Or you can wait for a bit, and I can have Luke take you. He points at the man at the bar. We just ordered dinner, so might hey, be best to wait for Luke. The man at the bar turns and looks at them. That bunch, bring them back tonight. He'll nod. And, uh, with that, um, see you bright and early. Don't give him any trouble. <laughs> and, uh, with that, he's gonna head out. Um, and as he does, you're gonna notice that his, uh, niece kind of lingers, smiles and waves, and kind of looks very pleased that, uh, you all agreed to this. <laughs> <laughs> She seems but. like a sweet one. <laughs> oh, don't roll your I... eyes at me, Ida. We have far more important things to discuss, like, Trenton, what is going on with this cursed pistol? <laughs> cursed family? Uh, why didn't you tell us about this before? Well, you didn't notice how every time I do things, like, things go really poorly? Like, how about that feller that came in, put a gun in my back while I'm just sitting there drinking? I just figured you were a hard-boiled West. I mean, like that was fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, this is. I just kind of assume this is the way things. Is this not how things are normally? Not, I'm assuming not. Oh, right, we're getting distracted. Our own experiences. So, so what's I do going not on with this? really have a baseline. <laughs> what's going on with this gun? I need to know. This is. This sounds fascinating. <laughs> well, I ain't got to know more. Decide to take a wander. Oh, that's tragic. I'm going to grab the bottle of tequila and pour him <laughs> another one. <laughs> yeah, well, this one day when I back had and I had my ranch, this uh, feller showed up. He was like asking me for some water. So he he said he'll do anything for it. Next thing I know, he goes over to the, the cattle trough, starts uh, drinking the water and basically drowns right in the damn damn water right there. And, uh, well, he had a big, big old gun. It was about yay big. It's all silver and stuff in it. So, oh. you know what they say. Man dies on your land. Whatever's on him belongs to you. That, that explains a lot of murders. You sad for say say? I, I don't know. Ida, is that a thing? There's Ever a lot a of sayings out here. Never own a ranch? Not personally, no. No. Yeah, well, I have. <laughs> and after, asking me for a second. <laughs> after I got that gun, things just went south. All my workers started getting sick. All my cattle started getting sick, wandering off. Next they thing, went I, to Mexico. I don't know where they wandered off to. They just weren't what? interested in working anymore. Oh, I thought you said they went to the south. Possibly. Oh, all right. They all scattered. Needless to say. You can't make a lot of money if you're not selling heads of cattle. So the bank came and shut it all down on me. That's why I've gone back into the life of bounty hunting. Oh, fascinating. Mm. All right. You said something about a cursed family as well. Well, ever since I got my hands on that gun, like just nothing but a curse has been following me. Oh, the gun is the curse. All right. All right. Never mind, never mind. Oh, very interesting yeah. story, though. Well, hopefully I can find the darn thing again, decide <laughs> to wander off one night, and haven't been able to find it since. Are you sure you want it back? But if you find it, wouldn't you be cursed more? Well, things haven't been getting better without it. Hmm. One of those you gotta break it. Wonderful. To who knows, maybe I can find somebody who can get rid of all of it. Yeah, maybe. Well, you gotta um, find it first, I suppose. Maybe you will along this trail if uh, Miss Cortez had anything to... Mrs. Cortez's statement had any truth to them. Well, uh, I'm like to think it deal. probably does. Yeah, I think, I, th I think she was telling us mm -hmm. true. 
I think north's the way we gotta go. Definitely north. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't got no money and I got no prospects. This is about all I got going on. A cat wanders in anywhere. and jumps up on your chair, <laughs> Thomas. My apologies, I'll remove him. The, the bar cat? No, he's just the bar cat. Yeah, and you're no, Thomas Catlett. Uh-huh. All right, that, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, I thought your name was Cat Lit, not Cat So Nip. cute. <laughs> this is where he'll settle. <laughs> you also match. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah, absolutely. I never even yeah. noticed. <laughs> I don't I don't have a uh, I don't have a cat noise, so instead <laughs> I have a frightened horse noise, so that's what we're gonna use. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Your trusty Steve is has arrived. <laughs> uh, oh, well, does our food arrive? Your food arrives, yeah. Your beans and bacon are there. You've got a bottle of tequila that's slowly being drained toward its worm. And a cat that is very interested. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get it worm and Learning how bottle. to play cards. Ooh, delicious. <laughs> Uh, once okay, it gets he's distracted down... the heck out of me. I'll put a kettlebell off. Okay. <laughs> uh, once um, it gets down to the worm, we'll try to give that to Frida. All right, Frida. Oh. I need a vigor roll. <laughs> I heard that. I heard we'll the first, try. first time you have a worm, what you do is you take a bit of bacon and you take another bit of bacon. You make it into a small little like biscuit kind of thing and eat it all at the same time. Okay. Uh, the worm is going to go down, and you feel a little—you feel a little sinky, a little queasy, but overall, you know, you—you uh, you survived. <laughs> <sighs> Invigorating. That's a word for it, for sure. Some boots cross the table. Oh, pardon me. Some boots, boots cross the bar, and uh, as you're finishing up your meal. The cow poke that was uh, pointed to earlier takes a look down at you. Like I said, he's a young man. Luke can't be more than, what, 25 at the at the offset. Um, dark brown skin, nice solid cleft in the front of his chin, uh, and a hat that has seen much better days. Uh, dressed in a, basically just a, a simple jacket and um, with, a, with a kerchief around his neck to keep the dust off of his mouth. Howdy, how you folks doing? Well, yourself? Mark. My name's Luke. Luke Cam. I have drank the worm. Hmm. Here, come have a drink with us. Mm. You still got a little bit left in that bottle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't mind if I do. Anybody who knows uh, and has traveled around a bit, he's kind of got a deep southern accent rather than this kind of midwestern or Texan southern. He's drawn a bit on his letters a bit more. Uh, Luke, this is uh, Frida Heckman, uh, Thomas Catlett, Trenton pleasure. Skinner, uh, Ada Driscoll. Uh, pleasure to make mm. your acquaintance. Mm. Well, uh, nice to meet y'all. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm the foreman up at the, the Lazy Ass. You... Um, Y'all need anything at all, you just come to me. And if I need anything at all, I'm gonna come to you. The way it works, we draw lots at the beginning of the day to figure out what y'all be doing, or I just tell you what you're gonna be doing to get things done. We work you hard, we work you fair. Okay? Is it good so are we good so far? Certainly. Alright. Well, we work six and a half days a week. You get a half day off on Sunday morning for those of you who want to visit one of the circuit preachers. Most of us sleep in or play cards. In fact, that's what we do most Saturday nights. I'm it's not tough. Let it continue. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the way it works is we work from sun up to sundown at the end. Uh, at night, Everyone's expected to spend at least two hours doing patrols around the edge of the herd when we actually get it moving. It's tiring. 
but it's fair. Now, uh, at the ranch, what are your skills? What are you good at? He's <laughs> gonna pull out a dictionary. Ida's Ida's just gonna kind of <laughs> lean back and look at uh, Thomas and Frida who <laughs> wait and see what they say. <laughs> All right. Uh, blacksmithing. Okay. Really? <laughs> you ever done? You, okay. You ever done any any branding? No. Well, usually, uh, what we got to do is uh, we got to brand cattle to make sure they got our sign on them. Uh, round up any uh, any stragglers. Make sure that they're all alright. Anybody who has any um, husbandry or uh, veterinarian abilities, that would be that would be much much obliged. Uh, but you, uh, the tack, the harnesses, and the saddles, making sure that they're in good working order. If you're good at blacksmithing, maybe you're good at leather working. Uh, One of them. I need somebody that can can or dry food for the trip uh, I need well if you're blacksmithing I mean the horses are going to need to be reshoed oh I have similar experience yeah and uh, besides that a couple strong backs to do some hay baling make sure the horses are fed <laughs> Thomas is looking I slightly uncomfortable I cannot help you <laughs> <Sarah>. <laughs> Yeah, I think the only strong back of a lot of us is Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to loading the bales of hay. It ain't no problem yeah. for me. Uh, whew. Um, well, if, uh, if Frida's interested in doing blacksmithing, which is um, interesting, um, I'm afraid, I'm not sure exactly how applicable my experiences would be. I'm, uh, I've got experiences with uh, geology and topography, uh, mapping, uh, oh. sketching. Cartography. Although Frida is very, very good. I'm, 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 I'm far from a match from far from a match from her for her. Um, but, <laughs> Suddenly, um, extremely interested. Um, you will have to show me your maps. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, it's mostly maps that I make. Yeah, um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I I can read well. Uh, I can do figures. I can. Uh, uh, oh. Well, that's largely the extent of it. I, 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 I was, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I came from a, a bit of uh, academic stock back east. Sorry, hmm. city folk, you could say. I've worked, I've worked a ranch before, and I may be more used on the trail than I am on the farm, but uh, I'll do what I can. Hmm. Well, and you look. I overheard part of your conversation. I know that you done some ranching before and done some drives. He says, pointing to you, Trenton. Yes, sir. Can any of you cook? Well I can, enough. Mm. I can grill a steak. <laughs> I. I can while. certainly try. Sure. It'll be a while before we have. We can steak. try. Well, I'm sure Frida and I, between the two of us, we can figure out anything. Yeah, that's. So I might put one of you with Javier. <laughs> he he'll take care of you. Um. Great. Well, I look forward to having you out there. You uh, you ready to go? Or you wanna wanna wrestle up some more more grub or? I'm good. I think I'm good too. Yeah. <sighs> With that, you... Is it a long walk? You, you don't have horses of your own. They still walk. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose they do. I, I believe they call that a ride. <coughs> Notes. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't far at all. Come with me. And with that, he leads you out into the night. You make your way there under cover of darkness. Only a few lamps burning, one of them. 
a lantern hung on the edge of a steel sign that you'll cross under that says the lazy ass ranch from here your adventure will really begin but I think that's something we're going to cover next time. Because this is a good stopping place here as you make it to the Lazy S. And uh, so this is episode one. So folks, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, there's more that I could have done tonight, but I feel like this is the best stopping place without feeling like we're going a little over long. And uh, this way, everybody has a nice little taste test as we're going in, because it's going to be, our next game is about a month from now, and then we'll be bi-weekly after that. So I uh, hope that you really enjoyed today. I, I had a lot of fun with this. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think this is a good start for sure. <laughs> I'm really excited to get to know these other characters more. Yeah, yeah. the characters are hilarious. Um, and I actually <laughs> wanted, to, wanted to posit something toward y'all. Uh, and that was, do y'all want to play NPCs as well? Like, because there, there are, mm -hmm. I think, about 16 other cattle, cattle drivers here. Uh, mm -hmm. so during scenes, like I can play them all, or I can give you like a bit part mm. and then you can just play a bit part. So you're always in a scene able to interact and maybe take a secondary seat, but I think still. that can be a lot of fun to do. Sure. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like I think, um, because you, you've done this in Star Trek before. Oh and yeah. That can be mm -hmm. pretty entertaining when it's like, it also and saves presently, me the presently you are now this random person we've invented. Yeah. Carry on. Well, and it means that I don't have to have like a list of people right off the bat. I'm like, oh crap, this guy's name is Mike. What's his name? Bob Dole. Bob. Does he have a pencil in his hand? Bob Dole. Uh, sure. Bob Robert Dole. Done. Um, oh boy. Uh, so yeah, so I think we're gonna do that, uh, and then I'm gonna look at experience real quick to see what I give you for this. Uh, so in general, uh, players at the start campaigns are novice. How does it work? Uh, it doesn't say. How do I give you damn experience, guys? Page ninety nine. I think that's in the core. I'm I think that's through. in Savage Worlds, isn't it? Yeah. I'm looking through Savage it. Savage Lands. Where the hell? So I wanna, I wanna give you something. I wanna give you something for showing up. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby. How do I raise your stats? <laughs> this boy ain't gonna stat it out right. <laughs> you keep your dragons in your darn old dungeons. <laughs> Dang it, that was weirdly boy. heavy. Giant hair poof behind me. Oh, okay, yeah. so Been one there. of the advancement depends on the length you intend for short campaigns or 10 or fewer we recommend the so i'm going to give you an advance actually so take an advance an so advance. this means that the okay, first then. one you were at we started you at what what advancement did i start you at i started you at season didn't i yeah yeah so we're at four so you're now you're at five okay okay and what you can do uh, is you can, so the way this works is you can, uh, gain a new edge. You can increase a skill that is equal to or greater than its linked attribute by one die type. You can increase one attribute by a die type, uh, once per rank. So if you did it, um, in novice and in seasoned, you can't do that again until you hit veteran. Uh, or you can permanently remove a minor hindrance or lower a major to a minor. So, you got some stuff you can do. Ooh, we taking mm, off hats okay. now? Yeah. This haircut looks damn good on camera, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's, not bad. it's perfect it's nice. for this. I, it goes all the way I'm gonna down put to the on back. Glasses I didn't with, that. With, with glass in them? Hang on. <laughs> what is oh, this? God. There we go. Cripes. <laughs> Cripes, indeed. So uh, all right, so folks, that is going to be uh, so you got you got your advancement. Everybody had a good time. Uh, I hope I hope you all had a good time watching out in YouTube land later and here on Twitch land immediately, because um, I, I I love playing with you folks, like I really do, and I think mm -hmm. that a yeah, little short session like fun. this will be good. Um, and uh, let us go and let's raid somebody in a second. So, folks. Tune in next time for, as the story actually gets going. Uh, I think you're going to like it. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, Goodbye. everyone.